Hello. I am really looking forward to this. I actually practiced. That's right. I practiced for a challenge run. I have food stuck in my teeth. Hold on. This is problematic. God damn. Okay, one sec. I, I gotta grab a placard real quick. I gotta... Okay, I think I, I think I took care of it. There we go. All right. How was everybody? Thank you, kind sir. Pog. Pog, redundancy. Thank you very much. For five months, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking forward to this today because I did a lot of game planning because we are not... We are not screwing up this challenge you, again today. Sir. Two months. Kanarin, I appreciate that. Thank you. And I missed two primes while I was offline. Thank you to a Baker Wolves and how do I pronounce you, that? Celsiaras. Really been free now? Huh. Pikmin. Thank you. I appreciate that, Pikmin. For a half year, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Juve Dagath dance, Juve Dagath dance, Juve Dagath dance. Uh Dark Zion? Is that how I say that? Thank you. This is our th this is our third attempt. I appreciate that. Thank you everybody for the support. Um, I did uh, I did a lot of game planning. I thought about this challenge a lot because I really don't want to mess it up again. I want to actually beat it. I want to make a lot of good progress. So I did add on the PowerPoint itself an extra little slide slash game plan of what we'll be doing today. Also. I'll have a speedrun timer camera on. I couldn't figure out how to get rid of loading screens. I tried. I followed like every single step that I could online. But I'll have a speedrun camera on today. Not that we're actually speedrunning, but just because, I don't know, timers are cool, right? It provides some context. So let me show you all. Where is it? I don't know if I've made that many updates to it. I don't think I have. So here's a rough sort of map that I put together. It's kind of hard to see because the image is actually huge. But uh, give me one sec here. So I have a little bit of a game plan. It's probably a bit hard to read. I got to zoom in. Oh, too much, too far, too far, too much zoom. I don't know how to scroll up. So a couple of big things for this run that I learned while I was doing some research. I, I, I wanted to kind of just keep going in and playing and see what would happen in the game world. Given how the last two runs have gone, I don't think that that's really that possible. I think we did a lot of things right in terms of our general game plan, but Thank there's a few kind, little sir. things that I want to add in and focus on in terms of our objective. Our objective is to build a house and we have to craft our own gear, go through some different gear phases, and whatnot, train our smithing. Because that's the only way we can, you know, level up our gear. So we'll get more into this as we go through today's stream. But the main thing is we're going to play as an orc. We're going to play as an orc uh, because we have the berserk ability, which is very good. But most importantly, orcs actually have free access to an ebony mine which if we look up here is marked in purple right here. There's an ebony mine right up here near Windhelm that you can access for free as an orc. If you just go to the orc stronghold, whatever it is, they let you in and we can mine ebony. Now, normally ebony armor, you have to get to smithing 80 in order to craft. But what I want to aim for is the Nordic carved armor. Because the Nordic Carved Armor lands in the Advanced Armors perk, which is at uh, Smithing 50. 
few other things, right? Like we want to collect all the blue mountain flowers, the red mountain flowers, the purple mountain flowers, because blue mountain flowers, those are kind of the basis for health potions. Red is the basis for, I think, magicka potions and purple is the basis for stamina potions. So collect a shit ton of those in the early phases of the game. Do what we did last time, hit these early spots so we can get the iron that we want to get, do our initial levels and whatnot. Absolutely. Most importantly, beware the two handed demon because every single run has ended so far to an enemy or a bandit with two handed weapons. They deal too much damage. So we have to avoid that at all costs. Another few objectives that I have in here that I want to take care of today. Uh, we do actually want to get Foos. We want to complete Bleak Falls Barrow. We want to get the Dragon Stone. We want to complete that first quest and kill a dragon, which we did on one of our characters. Because if we have Foos, then we can collect an alchemy ingredient known as Salmon Row, which I actually haven't practiced this or done it myself, but it's an incredibly powerful alchemy ingredient, and you can only obtain it if you either shoot with an arrow or Fus Roda a salmon in water. I've never tried it, so I'll have to see how it goes. So I am assuming if we're able to play it safe, take some caution as we move east. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Snore! Snore, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, if this is your first stream today uh, and you haven't seen any of this challenge and you're not sure what's going on, exclamation point Iron Man, it'll take you to the Google document for some context, challenge background, what inspired it, <clears throat> and give you some of the basic rules. I've added a couple of slides in there. I, I, I do have this entire game plan on the, uh, what's it called? On the document. So it's going to be fairly similar to everything else that we've done. But I did make sure to mark a corundum mine. So we'll have a corundum mine here so we can get into the steel tier of gear. And that's sort of it for now. I think by the time we get up here, if we hit smithing 50, if we get a Nordic carved armor set, then we should be OK for the most part. That should that should actually get us pretty far. That's the basic game plan. Things might change. We'll have to adjust on the fly as things change. I didn't put you know, everything down here, like there's still the transmute uh, spell book that we might have to go for. We'll, de we'll definitely just grab it. We might as well. It's in a cave that we're going to clear out regardless. But anyway, that being said, Snore, thank you very much for 10 tier one subs. That's very generous of you. Very much appreciated. Thank you. I don't know if I missed any other alerts. I don't think I did. Uh, Alien Kurt, thank you for the prime. I did miss that. Alien Kurt, I appreciate that. Thank you. So, I'm ready to rip its head off. That's it. That's all the background I've got. Let's grip it and rip it. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I actually was really, really upset, really disappointed with both of the last runs, how they ended. I just, you know, I don't know. It's, it's frustrating when I know we can do this. How can you kill a god? Excuse me. Grand and intoxicating it is. I'm trying to play Skyrim. Thank you, Kanarin, for five gifted subs. That's very kind of you, but how dare you interrupt me? So rude. So rude. I hope nobody ever interrupts the stream again. But thank you. All right. Ooh, should probably start my recording. Is fishing allowed for this challenge? Fishing is only allowed for food. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. All right, real quick. I'm going to say this one time because I know people throughout the stream are going to make note of it and are going to mention it. Nine months. So, chat, if you... Juve baby. Crazy Gajit lady, congratulations. You have a stream baby. I'm... 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 I'm <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're on your own, though, for child support. Uh, I don't plan on helping out there. You got this, though. You can uh, you can handle it. So I I'm going to say this one time because <clears throat> I know people are going to come onto the stream and mention it. And uh, chat, you're in charge of informing them. As soon as we gain control of our... Stop interrupting me! I'm... I'm 
I'm in the middle of describing. Snore. Once again, thank you very much. That's incredibly kind of you. Is that 20 subs already today? Thank you. Genuinely, I appreciate that. Gaptapel, thank you for the 100 bits. Hi, Juve. I'm interrupting, you, but also hi, Vodmi from the future. I want to join in. I want to join in. All right, Stormbl Stormblade, you're allowed in. You're, you're in. You're in. Just kidding. You interrupted. You are now banned. You are no longer allowed to join in. Okay, anyways, let me finish my thought. Or keep interrupting. Choice is yours. I can't stop you. But people are going to mention it throughout this stream. It's going to be common all day. They're going to ask. I'm only asking for enough to feed my kids. All right. All right, coward. Hide out there anonymously. Hide out there anonymously. Call, call anonymously. <laughs> Thank you. Whoever that was, kind stranger. Thank you for. I'm a god. I'm You're interrupting. A god. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. All right, you know what, class? Class? When you settle down, I will. G I, I'm gonna. I will count to three. Thank you, Dark Zion. You're incredibly kind. I appreciate. God damn it! I I'm, I'm, I already see the next one, and I'm in the middle. <laughs> Stop it! Thank you all. Seriously. Uh, what 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 is it that you? If you can hear my voice, raise your hand. If you can hear my voice, raise your hand. If you can hear my voice. Raise your hand. Anybody ever get that when you were a kid? Stormblade. Again, that was incredibly kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And God, I think I missed the one uh, before you. Dark Zion. Thank you. Anonymous, whoever you are. I think it's cowardly. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Now, what I was going to say is that above my head, there will be a speed run timer throughout this stream. People are absolutely going to make the comment throughout this stream today. Hey, how come it doesn't pause during load screens? Did you know that you can make a speed run timer pause during load screens? Did you know you can pause? Did you know that you can pause? Did you know it can pause during load? I tried. I did my best. I put my best foot forward. I went through Reddit forums and tried a bunch of things to try and get the load remover to work. I talked with Jabo the other day, too, since he knows a lot more about speedrunning than I do. And I still couldn't get the load remover to work, but we will have a speedrun timer above my head today. It just won't pause during loading screens. But this isn't a Thank legit speedrun speedrun, so it's not a huge deal. Now, the second thing, exclamation point Iron Man. If you haven't seen any of these runs before, it'll give you all the context you need. If other people come into the stream and they ask... Uh, what's going on or they're not sure what's happening or it's their first time ever on the stream kindly exclamation point iron man them so that they can be filled in and they can understand the lore let's be kind to each other let's work as a team let's get through this challenge and let's build a fucking house huh huh how about it let's build a house maybe not today it might take a little bit too long today but let's at least not die today all right i'm tired of fucking dying let's do it crazy kajit lady thank you very much for gifting a tier one sub and Gormong, thank you for the tier one. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Fergo, welcome. If this is your first time here, Fergo. We welcome you kindly. Three, two, one. Good night. He's dead. Wait, you there? Anyone else feel like running? I feel like dancing. Che, you guys got me in a mood today. Thank you all so much for the kind messages and support. Also, the butterflies, the butterfly murder count. We're gonna abandon that idea. Okay, we're going Turns orc. Out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. Denhead. Very kind of you. Thank you for donating two wood elf sisters who always fight together to the channel. Is this the real challenge or practice? This is the real challenge. We're going for it. So we're not going to play as John Bernthal. We're going to switch it up. I think we need a nice change of pace. I think the last time. Oh, wait, is this Bear Grylls? Yeah. Okay, can, should Bear Grylls make her return after she died in Solstheim? Is she the one who can complete this run? She might be. 
Yeah, I always I always go with the heaviest build. I want bright green. Okay, there's okay, that's the brightest green. All right. Just got to make sure we're looking cool. Got to have scars or something, right? Battle hardened. I'm not going to spend too much time though. War paint absolutely necessary. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool. Let's go. Where's red? Yeah, red. Oh, there, there. Okay, sweet. Done. Bear Grills. Welcome back, Bear Grills. You have been revived after your tragic, tragic death in Solstheim. No, we're not bringing Turkey Stick back. Turkey Stick gets redemption on Solstheim. That's where he's due. But Bear Grills, will she make up for her you loss on Solstheim? I think so. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. Work she goes to the block. Second. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you remain. Oh, beef spatula. That's right. Denhead, thank you very much. You bet 13,000 for me to survive an hour? Oh, yeah. We're going to survive an hour easily. Oh, Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the Vulcan. <clears throat> Everybody There's silence. Silence. We are about to be commended to Aetherius. Not quiet. Silent. Chaos. And now the Empire is Silent. Put you down and restore the peace. Come on. Carry on. Give it to me, Priestess of RK. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Ah, you motherfucker! Come on, man. I'm gonna. I want a mod. Can we get a mod that removes him from the game, and she can finish the commendation of our souls? Should you change your username to something more Skyrim E? No. I don't think so. You should keep your uh, username. Well, I mean, if you want to change it, absolutely. If you want to have more damage, be a female orc because you can obtain two perks that give you 8% damage to the opposite gender and 8% speech on opposite genders. And since most of the NPCs in Skyrim are men, better for females to be absolute. Are those speech perks? It's going to be hard for us to get speech to level up. Damn near impossible. Sig, where do those uh, where are those perks at? Which skill tree? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. <laughs> yeah. Ready for my execution. Not gonna happen. I know how this ends. That was a bad jingle. Probably like a three out of ten on the jingle scale. What in oblivion is that? Sentry, what do you see? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Trains don't make that sound. All right, there we go. So now the time is going. Uh, already taking damage. If I died right there, I would have, uh, you know what? I would have rather died there than at any other time through this run. So it wouldn't have been that bad. Uh, uh we're going Hadbar. Hadbar's a little bit quicker. Because if we go Hadvar, we can just grab the key out of the chest. <clears throat> oh shit, my hands are bound. I'm getting ahead of myself. I did so much research, I already think I'm at the end point. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. No, Bon Bon, that's why I was so upset that I died. I was hoping that you would be back in time for it. That's just my fault. Oh, I was confused. I was like, does that not open this door? 
Have I forgotten how to play this intro? Maybe we can reason with them. Yes, yes, maybe we can reason with them. Or lightning sprint. Wait, prisoner, come back here. I need your help. Hadvar falls to the double team of Stormcloaks attacking him. I uh, don't really need pheasant, but let's grab that rabbit. We can cook it. Hey, now, hey, come on. We're not playing this game right now. Efficiently getting through this intro. Mind you, don't kick the bucket, please. Both figuratively and also figurative, figuratively by, well, no, and literally. Because figuratively would be dying, i.e. kick the bucket. Oh my god, 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 I'm actually stuck in the cage. That could have been disastrous. So the first thing we're gonna do as soon as we get out of this intro, <clears throat> mountain flowers, mountain flowers, mountain flowers. We're gonna aim for nothing but mountain flowers. We're also gonna take the warrior stone because I think just training our combat viability, our general combat viability is gonna be the most important to staying alive. Essentially what we have to do in all battles is keep an eye out for two-handed wielding enemies. If they have a two-handed weapon, then we take extra caution. No more fucking around if, if one of them has two hands. Like, it's just, whether they're a regular bandit or not, bandit thug, doesn't matter the tier of bandit they are, I'm not screwing around with it anymore. Um, I'm not letting my own lackadaisical nature get the best of me. I'm just over it. You think I should make a religion? What would it be called? I have no, I, I've got no ideas. What would the moral code be? It would involve video games. I don't know if I would want to make a religion though. I'm not a good leader. Not even gonna deal with the bear right now. It's probably to my benefit to do so, but no, we're gonna be more efficient. This run, we're gonna be quick with it. We're gonna hit flowers. We're gonna hit that first little cave, get our pickaxe, mine some ore, clear it out, move on. Bing, bang, boom, build some armor, get some skills, hunt some deer. Survival mode on. Don't really need snowberries. We also need to get giant's toe. <clears throat> I took a couple of notes on some potions that might be beneficial in terms of grinding alchemy XP. And I wanna say it's giant's toe, blue mountain flower, blue butterfly wing. I think that's one of the most expensive potions you can make right off the bat. And obviously expense or total cost equals the amount of XP you're getting. So let's just ditch Rayloff right off rip and start picking flowers like a normal warrior. Was this in the prophecy that the Dragonborn would just leave the cave and immediately start grabbing flowers? Uh, Mora Tapanella, that's for magic. I think most mushrooms restore magicka in some way juve hova witnesses <laughs> no <laughs> no stop not to no unless wait are you guys gonna go door to door and promote my channel <gasps> oh my gosh i think we found a new life hack gone are the days of making good content we're going door to door excuse me ma'am are you bored and would you like to Watch a man-child make incredibly crude jokes while a set of animated characters die? Well, I... Uh, yeah. Sure. It could work. You never know. Tapanilla. Some perp. Sipping on that perp? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to comb this area and try to get all the Mora Tapanella I can. It's a bit more rare than the, uh, the other mountain flowers, but we're doing decently well. These, I think, are higher level bandits. 
Let's test our metal though. Regular bandit, two-handed bandit. What did we say about two-handed bandits? When a two-handed bandit be near, the only thing your brain must operate on be fear. The hell? Really? My magic already gone? Okay, not too bad. Maybe it's because when I, the first time I tried Requiem, kind, this bandit camp was nearly impossible. Treasure map. Where the fuck is that? Riverwood? Yeah, that's Riverwood. Treasure chest on the opposite side of the lake by trees? Huh. Is this gonna be a today I learned moment? Skill book? Nice. One handed increase right off the bat. Very good. Can't use the tanning rack. Satchel, give me something. I mean, I'll take lockpicks. Zaykara, thank you so much for the tier one. How are you? Already hungry. I feel like if I have flames, I should be able to cook my own food. No? Why do I need a campfire? I can literally wield it in my hands. Oh, uh, another slight rule change for today that I forgot to mention. If I sleep at an inn, I have to drop 90 gold. It costs 10 to sleep at an inn, but I'm going to drop an extra 90 gold so that it costs 100. I think that sleeping at inns has been a bit cheesy the last two times we've tried it. So we're going to update that rule. My goal is that by the end of this, we kind of compile a really comprehensive rule sheet. And I'd like to talk to some of the folks in the modding community about actually putting out just an Iron Man slash Ultimate Iron Man preset in game. So, yeah, a mod that completely removes any and all ability to trade. But I do think that inns should be significantly more expensive. Because if it's at 100 gold, then that does. Because, like... We need 5,000 gold for the property, right? In order to build a house. And if I stay at an inn 12 times on the, on the way to getting there, that's 1,200 gold. That's 1,200 gold that I need to go out and risk my entire run going to get. So dies from bullshit died. Dies from bullshit indeed died from some bullshit. You're not afraid you'll set fire to something? What? No. Are you kidding me? Who would be afraid of something silly and juvenile like that? How am I already drained? I've been playing for five minutes. <coughs> if you are not familiar on the challenge, exclamation point Iron Man, there's a document I put together that will give you a lot of the context. Hold on, you're wearing way more armor than usual. Yeah. Actually, he kind of did decent damage. Okay, let's go. Can I take that? Oh. Hmm. Had to actually just bump into it and knock it loose. Ember shard. <laughs> Uh, what is Fly Amanita again? Resist fire? Okay. Go forth, my venerable soldier. Okay. I thought he wasn't going to do the job, Rocky. That would have been the first time Rocky ever failed, although I'm not a big fan and I may have to demote him if he's going to let me get attacked like that. Oh my gosh, game, I know. You are Skyrim, I know what fatigue is. All right, get our pickaxe. Let's go, let's chop it up. We're moving at a good rate today. 
we're moving at a really good rate today i mean yesterday it probably took us what 45 minutes to almost an hour before we even came back to this cave If you're looking at the map of Skyrim, we're gonna move up towards Whiterun, then move west of Whiterun into that open area for both grinding, exploring, and materials and whatnot. And then we're gonna move east. So the goal is to kind of go, roop, although I'm in reverse. I'm, it, it's, it's right on my end, okay? It, lo it looks proper when I do. Broop, we'll go like that, and then we'll go, broop, and then we'll go, eep, and then we'll go eep, down to Falkreath. That's the plan. If that didn't make any sense or you're still confused, <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> We're moving at a really quick clip today. Okay. I'm just gonna do it for the montage. It's gonna be fun to montage all of Rocky's murders. so stupid it's so fucking stupid i love it so much probably my favorite physics like hack in this game is it gonna get old maybe someday but not really do we need a rocky emote we might need a rocky emote I'm so not fucking around today. There's an iron vein right here. Oh, look, there is. Okay, seven hey, you've got the Rocky emote. Gonna try the Iron Man challenge later today. Any quick tips? Beware the two-handed demon. The two-handed demon will end your run. If you're playing on expert or higher, two-handed bandits. Don't play around with them. Don't give them a second chance. Do not fight with honor, okay? This would be, oh my god, this would be an amazing first chest. At level one. Let's grab clairvoyance and sparks. We gotta remember to use sparks if we're fighting a dark elf. There's nothing in here, right? Nothing. Ooh, did not see this one last time. There's a lot of iron ore veins. They're kind of hard to see. Are you not allowed to pick it up for disenchanting? No, we can only pick up, uh, or we can only disenchant items if it's given to us as a quest reward. That's it. So our ability to enchant is really weak, but in a really long playthrough, I think that makes, ooh. <gasps> yes. Mora Tapanala, good call on the barrel. Thank you, chat. I shouldn't have eaten one of them. I just wasted a potion. Plenty of salt piles in here. Jabo made you listen to Elmo? What's wrong with that? Maybe we should have Elmo on this stream. If you if you pop back into Jabo's stream, tell him I said hi. I saw he was doing um, Fallout 4, but every kill he gets faster. You kill a lot of people in Fallout 4. I feel like he's gonna break the game very quickly. Do I have the Creation Civil War Armor DLC added? I would think so because I have all the anniversary content installed. <clears throat> Dark Elf, more like Dork Elf. Marcy, this is your second time popping in a stream. It's going well. I apology, apologies if I do miss quite a few messages while we move forward today. I'm a bit objective focused today because it's really important to me that we do beat this challenge. I don't want to upload another failed run. Solstheim left a bad taste in my mouth. That's weird. When did people start calling your mom Solstheim? Two handed demon. We're not fucking around. I mean, we can probably kill him, but he's a two-handed demon, so he dies. Iron ore? Torch scones. No, not iron ore. Someone there. 
Nice try. Ah, oh, got me. The timing is pretty consistent on how they shoot arrows. It's about a three second cadence. So if you can time it right, you can actually whoop, swing right past them. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I, I don't know what is going on. I think it's my allergies, but I have constantly just had shit in my throat the past few weeks. It's been nonstop. <clears throat> such a disappointment to leave all these enchanted items behind because on a normal run it's just so fun collecting the enchantments one of my favorite parts of a run or just like a casual playthrough same I probably just need to stop smoking yeah I would recommend it, although I can certainly empathize with how difficult it is to give up nicotine. Hello? Certainly a vice of mine. When I was in, uh, God, when I was 16, 17, don't worry, I'm going back for the ore. I think I was, how old was I? I was like 17, I think, and blue e-cigarettes were really the popular thing when I was in high school. They were just a one-time purchase. You know, they'd run out after 200, 300 puffs. Man, I remember modding Skyrim on my mom's laptop until I blue screened her laptop, secretly hidden away in our attic with my blue e-cigarette. So edgy and cool. And then I moved on to American Spirits because again, I wanted to be edgy and cool and think, hmm, well, they're, they're made from the earth, bro. It's like herbal, okay? I have a connection with, with the ground. Um, so I thought, the, I, I thought they were cool. And then when I got to college, all of my friends, none of them smoked, and they all made so much fun. I mean, they shamed me constantly to where I was like, okay, fine, I quit. And then I had a room. Where is the ore? Am I missing ore veins in here? Um, but yeah, nicotine, super not cool, super easy to get hooked at a young age and super hard to quit if you do get hooked at a young age. Long story short. Are we? Okay, I think I've cleared the ore. Have y'all ever smoked sage? I can't say that I have. What the hell is sage? I thought that was stuff at like department stores that they use to like make the place smell nice. Or, you know, car freshener. Is it still dies from bullshit? No, dies from bullshit died from some bullshit. Predictably. Shooting at salmon does give you salmon row you tried. Sweet, we're gonna get Fus Roda, or just Fus. That's like smoking oregano. <laughs> okay, that'd be kind of funny though. Let's run back, let's hit some iron ores. Yeah, we're moving at a good clip. We're going to have a full set of iron armor and a weapon Thank before we even leave shirt. Riverwood. Dr. Redshirt, how are you? Thank you so much for the prime. That was big damage. Third wolf, really? Look at that. I can dodge without looking at him. Easy. I don't know what is wrong with my kill cams. My game is fairly stable. I really don't have any problems at all with this game, but my kill cams have been completely broken for a long, long time. Or not so much the kill cams, but the ragdoll on kill cams. It's like there's a freeze in the animation and then a continuation of the animation. I don't remember when it started, it's been well over a year. 
I do love the kill cams in general. Especially the when you have a higher level two handed and you can get like the sidestep like baseball swing decapitation. That one never gets old. The archery ones, of course, are always really cool. Let's do one more scan here. Make sure we got all the ingredients. Honestly, not a bad idea if we want to hit up this area for some ore, but that goes against my game plan. I'm trying to stick to the game plan as best I can. I totally missed it, but uh, Kilmangaro, you were responding to Biggie TD and saying, good for them, keep it up, etc. I wonder if that's in relation to the smoking conversation they had, and that was somebody in my chat saying that they were trying to quit. If you are in chat and you are trying to quit a nicotine addiction, I am rooting for you. That is fucking awesome. Super, actually, really cool. I don't, I, don't, I don't think people understand just how fucking hard it is. So, ultimate respect to anybody going through that. Because at the end of the day, most of us that are addicted to it started real young. When we didn't know any better. Lots of Red Mountain. Kind of more than I was expecting. What do we have? 13 blue, 13 purple, 12 red. Almost an even split between all of them. I was not expecting that. I always thought it leaned heavily Blue Mountain Flower. But where there's red, there's blue. Where there's blue, there's purple? No, no purple. Tapanella. Oh my god, Hadvar finally beat me back here. She's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything. Shoot, there's not a smelter here, isn't there? Okay, okay. Come inside. I always forget there's not a smelter in uh, Riverwood. We might be running all the way back naked. Is, is there a smelter? No, wait, there is. By the main gate, right? Or is it just a chopping block? A dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What is it now, mother? Shut up, Rosh Pennon. Tired of hearing that voice. If you didn't know, yes, Sven Rosh Pennon from Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, same voice actor. It's in the. Fuck, you're right, it's in the mine. Can I find the secret entrance? Yes! Alright, we're still moving at a decent clip. I hope somebody in chat remembers Jedi Knight Jedi Academy and how much of a little dweeb Rosh Pennon was. That's a dweeb name for a dweeb character. Are we sure it's in here? Higher. Jaden! Uh, that, 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 he was always screaming your character's name. Jaden! <laughs> Whoa, that was Luke Skywalker, Jaden! This is the third attempt. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what's going on with me. But I'm totally missing. Okay, so there isn't one in vanilla. Are we sure there's one in this cave? Don't think there is. Near the front? Great. Ah, uh, we're backtracking a little bit more than I want to. That's just me getting impatient. Although I think there's an Orvain. No, I would have thought there was one there. Right there? Ah! Can hard you can hardly see it. That's why the I need a torch. That's alright. If there isn't one here, we got a few extra iron out of it. This 
Scanning, scanning. Nothing. This way's faster. Make sure we don't get followed, you know? Play it safe. Wait, there it is. Did I just miss the smelter? Thank you, kind sir. No. I thought somebody in chat was telling me I missed it. Now I know for a fact someone on the bot channel right now is going, Oh my god, you missed the smelter! I'm screaming right now. Calm down, calm down. Peace between nations, okay, that includes me. Your benevolent czar of idiocy. Ooh. Little secret iron ore sticking out. Get as much food and energy restoring supplies that you can. Makes early game easier to move around since this game... Make sure you have protection spells and armor to prevent insta-death and with Skyrim bribing and persuasion. No, Lieber, you're kind of absolutely right. You're not kind of absolutely right. You are right. In my head, if I see food items, I'm trying to collect them as best I can. Like we have a ton of salt piles right now for cooking just so that we can take that and, you know, get it out of the way. Clear that out. I can smack ores manually? I can't. Because technically, the pickaxe is a looted weapon, which I cannot equip. I'm allowed to have it in my inventory per the rule set, but I cannot equip it as a weapon. Is that semantic? And is it stupid? Sure. But I also, for the purpose of streaming and hanging out with chat while we do this challenge, I like the five to 10 second break I get per ore vein to Look at chat. It allows a little bit of a break. You know, I don't have to like spam click constantly because we'd be doing it a lot. Uh, I do need to get some food. Stamina regen's really slow. Let's cook what we can and then just sprint over to White Run. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no... Jugged rabbit? Salt pile juniper berries raw rabbit. Theatric. Whoa, this is really good. Go deep, <coughs> well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let we are Jugged rabbit. This. Doesn't sound very good, but... It's gonna get us to white run. Um, they're all home. Let's talk to them, become friends, and take the ingots. Treasure map! Yeah, I want to check the treasure map. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Of course. Take what... But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? Oh, this counts as trading, doesn't it? Does this count as trading? No, this counts as looting. I'm counting this as looting. Fuck off. Good day. May the gods so watch... Of course. You. But what's all this up? Sit down what? and I'll get you something That to explains what I but the Yarl we need to get word to Yarl Bob. Plus whatever supplies I just took are so inconsequential in the long run. But I wanna make him my friend. So that we could grab these. Save up the steel ingots, that way we don't have to get any of that corundum. It's actually pretty nice to have. Before we leave, let's go leather. 12 leather strips. We've got a bunch of iron. Or at least whatever was under the table. Mm. Not Apprentice level work, but so okay, dick. You don't gotta be rude like that. Alright, we got our clothes. We're off to the races. Just make sure to grab a bunch of flowers on the way. We'll take care of alchemy when we get to Whiterun. Just do it all in one rip. F 
flowers. You gotta watch for flowers the whole way. And check the treasure map. Almost forgot the treasure map. I appreciate uh, you guys reminding me. Looks like it was somewhere over here. Treasure, where art thou treasure? I feel like it's gonna be in a tree stump. That's a pretty Elder Scrolls place to hide a chest. No, not in there. It's got a, oh, I don't have the note. I didn't take it with me. Shit. Crap, uh, where's my treasure? I don't remember. Lots of Mora Tapinella around here, so I'm not complaining about checking this place out. And we got a Norvain. <clears throat> like the fog of war, we're kind of clearing this map as we move towards Whiterun. Leaving little reason for return other than Bleak Falls Barrow. I'd probably get draxed if I went through Bleak Falls right now. <clears throat> okay, no go on the treasure chest. Not too concerned about it, though. Follow the waterfall's runoff and look at the bay mud crab. Look at the bay mud crab. Got him. Large antlers. Ah, small antlers. Still, we'll take them. Hello, Death Ray. Jordan, how are you? Thanks for sending your stream over. How'd it go? I assume something Nintendo related. I am moving at Blitzkrieg pace. My platforming is good. My timing is decent. We're clearing out the map. I feel good. We're getting a lot of Tapinella. What is up with the Tappy? <clears throat> Jesus, he's made of ice. Sliding across the ground. What would you guys think about Skyrim on ice? Would you go see that? Elder Scrolls on ice, a performance? I would go in a heartbeat. Thank you, thank you, sir. He talks about Squishmallows and streamer mental stability. Yeah. I don't know if I would describe myself as a mentally stable person. Challenges like this drive me nuts. More so than anything, because, like, I just, I want to get to the end. I want to get there. I want to accomplish something, right, that isn't just orphaning 15 consecutive children. Or stacking cheese on top of itself. More tapinella. It's all over. This has got to be my leading ingredient. It's number one! More than blue mountain flower. I haven't killed a single butterfly either. What's going on? Xander Gaming, thank you very much for the prime. I mean, I'm sure... I mean, Wes Johnson's day job is at an ice rink. 
right? Maybe he has some connections with the Washington Capitals. Let's make Elder Scrolls on Ice a real thing. Wes, if you're out there, let's do it. Elder Scrolls on Ice. I want to see a gang of uh, Falmer with their eyes closed, trying to ice skate, like knocking into each other. Restore our stamina, we'll take the chitin. Is it a time of day thing? Are butterflies more common during the day? No, I'm not gonna wait for 12 hours. I almost out Skyrimmed myself. But this is a problem, I need blue butterfly. Imperial business, be on your way. Move along. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Okay, now here's where we hit. Lavender Tundra Cotton, they make a good pairing. Or possibly Thistle. Somebody mentioned on the VOD channel that there's a Corundum or Vein back here. And I have had a few comments where people are like, I'm not sure if you read comments. I absolutely do read comments. Quite often. More closely on the second channel. Just because I know that the VOD channel is... A much like tighter knit audience uh and is closer and and follows much more closely most of the content that we make whereas on the main channel sometimes it just goes out there towards an audience that may or may not despise me who knows depends on the day can't really pay too much mind though to those kinds of people i'm not seeing one though corundum more back here lord are you how are you is there going to be a butterfly death counter for the final run? Probably not. I don't really know if we need one. Ooh, shoot. Well, we, norm we know there's corundum ore. Just one vein right up here. Which, actually, we're not even going to go into white run. We're just going to hit this house right here. Do I even have 100 gold? Yeah, we have 317, so we can spend 100 to stay at the inn. Who would despise me? Um, it, it's the internet. These things happen. You know? I'm also somebody who I don't take myself seriously at all. And sometimes that could lead to people misunderstanding something. Oh, wait, hold on. Luna moths are good. Do Luna moths only spawn at night? I saw Luna moths in a couple of equation tables I was looking at for ingredients. Damage magica. They must have a third or fourth ingredient that's really valuable. But absolutely, these are all spawning because it's nighttime. They must replace butterflies as you get later into the day. You heard my voice in a random TikTok and it gave you whiplash? Uh, let me guess. <clears throat> Hope this interaction doesn't lead to too much- Ah, oh, fuck. Hope this interaction doesn't lead to any kind of fallout between us. Fallout New Vegas. Probably that one, yeah. I, I don't know why I voiced it like that either. Why was that my Benny impression? Leek, do we want leek? Yeah, vegetable soup. Ah, I forgot to grab the tomatoes from the cave. That's one thing we kind of flubbed. And grilled leeks are useless. Can I plant here? No. What do they got? You got, you got potatoes? Tomatoes? Tomatoes? Leek? Titus. Screw it. Let's move on. We'll find some later. Uh, I should be going for that deer. But so many flowers, so many pretty flowers and moths. Die, moth! Oh, 
All right, pretty good run so far. We've got a shit ton of alchemy ingredients. We've been low risk for the most part. Potato soup does sound good. Potato soup, some cracked pepper, a little bit of cheese. We're, I'm not really over conumbered. We're not playing that game right now. We're gonna save up on, we're gonna use Corundum to get steel. Damn it. Okay, I'm only one pound over. So, yeah, let's come over to the anvil. Let's make our backpack. Unless I can't. Leather. All right, let's make some leather. I don't think I'll have enough leather, though. I turned it all into strips. We have two deer. Okay, we get, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's make a backpack. Adventurer backpack, always. I love the stamina buff. Heavy iron armor, that looks cool. It costs a corundum ingot, though. Which I don't need. Let's make the heavy iron armor. Take the XP, look a little bit cool for a bit. Iron club, iron club served us very well when we used it previously. Let's make an iron club. That'll be good for now. So now we go from iron armor to heavy iron armor. It's a bonus of three. I'm still over encumbered? How? There, now we're good. I kind of like the look of this. It looks a little bit like orcish. I dig it. Armed with a weapon. Can I temper anything? Slight damage boost. Off to the races. Let's get into town and do our alchemy. I'm going to save money on the hotel and build a camp. We just need some firewood to do it. The only problem with the camp is that firewood is heavy. That's about it. How many deaths have we had today? None. What is that command? Where did the command last run come from? And... That's strange. I'm, I have no clue how that was set up. That would be cool, though, if we had a command for, like, the last time we died or something on runs like this. Kenny made it. Kenny, you can make commands? What? That's awesome. Thank you for putting that together. I hereby promote you to the replay czar. Seriously, that was really kind of you. Thank you. All right, I think we've gotten most of the ingredients. Ooh, let's get, oh, did I spawn in the event and run away? Did it despawn? They're still here. Let's get the giant's toe. Well, Don't care. That's taken care of. Yeah, not no interested. Thanks no thanks to me? Yeah, sure. Mm, I always forget there's no loot on that giant. Take some potatoes. Red Mountain, purple, more perp, more purple. Damn, damn, purple, chill. This is also not including 
the massive amount of flowers that are in white run there's a lot yeah the companions eat the toes before i can pisses me off those are my giant's toes render them unto me give me the giant's toe Yeah, they complain that I didn't help. I'm not paid to be there. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Oh yeah? Official business only. Would 75 pounds of flowers change your mind? Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. That's right. That's what I thought. Get out of my way. I have floral business to attend to. If you use the orc ability and turn into a werewolf, so you use berserk then turn into a werewolf. I feel like werewolves are squishy. Whenever I play as a werewolf, I feel like I'm not a damage sponge. I die really quick. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I'm doing it at a low level. I'd sooner bend my knee to Just want to make sure we're being thorough. Although, given our weight situation, not a good idea to wait through the night, but I'm going to. We're going to get hungry. Don't worry, I have jugged rabbit. That'll save the day. All right, we'll hit our level up here. So, Blue Mountain... Oh my god, not a single butterfly. I gotta leave. Hold on, I gotta leave town. I didn't get a single butterfly the entire time. You know How are we doing on weight? I can carry 60 more pounds. Our That's so strange. Every other run, we found so many butterflies. Not a single one today. I think they're they're adapting. I think they are. They heard word spreading in the butterfly community. Nutpile, how are you? God, that is a visceral username. That is. That's something. Okay, butterflies are not hard. They're all over the map. We're a little bit tired, so we don't have a lot of magic. That's not good. I want blue butterflies. It, it makes a really, really expensive potion. So lots of XP if we do ooh, here, uh, do I want or it's gonna take up a lot of weight, but yeah, let's do it. We're here. Let's grab it Oh Stevie you're back Don't worry Stevie you haven't had to count at all this entire stream I feel like such an idiot when I chase them. There we go. Butterfly spotted, locking onto my target, closing in. Target down. Two tangos, three in total. Bag them and tag them, boys. Let's roll through, let's do this by the books. Don't let the mother butterfly find out. You know what Skyrim needs, or you know what Elder Scrolls in general needs? Ents from Lord of the Rings. You remember Ents? Those big ass trees? 
that's what Elder Scrolls needs. Like, I don't know why this downed a tree right here. It just, I, I'm like, it looks like it has something to say. Like, it looks like it's, it's contemplating getting up. How are you, Romer? Did the Luna moths not count as butterflies? No, they're moths. Moths. Moths? Mothis. Mothis. That's a strange... Because, like, it sounds like you're saying moss, but with a lisp. Moth. Look at all this moth. Look at all these moths. Fun fact, I grew up with a lisp. 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 I think I've told this story quite a few times on stream. I'm also one of those people who tells stories like four or five times. I do this to my friends in real life all the time. They'll be like, you already told that story. They're like, I don't care. I'm telling it again. <gasps> there is a corundum ore right by the metery. God bless you, VOD channel commenter. All right. Everybody right now. Everybody in chat, please congratulate the chatter over on the VOD channel who called this out. I stand corrected. You stand correct. That's huge. Like, getting the corundum ingots from the house is nice, but we can't make steel ingots with corundum ingots. We need corundum ore. You think I managed to eradicate the entire boat? I must have. They they stopped migrating. You know how birds move south for the winter? Butterflies, they've all left. They've all escaped the creation kit. They're flying around inside my PC right now. I'm going to do one circle around Whiterun, just around the outside of town. Then we're going to head in town. We'll do our crafting. We'll do our potions. We'll hit a level up, maybe two. Is that an ore vein? Holy shit. I was not looking. I cannot believe that ended up being an ore vein. Wow. Monarchs migrate south? No, they don't. They No, wait. Yeah, they're already hatched. I was about to say they, they go into a cocoon, but that's before they become a butterfly. I've seen the SpongeBob episode. Skyrim is nice. First time on stream and you're playing Skyrim with Skyrim in your name. That's a lot of Skyrim. Thank you for stopping in. What kind of, uh, what kind of build are you running with? Are you exploring the classic Skyrim build? Hold W and left click? Or are you challenging yourself to think differently and approach challenges in a different way? Is this legal? This is legal, right? What are these mud crabs doing here? Butterflies. There's got to be some butterflies around this house. I feel like there always are. Oh, you know what we need? And I remember this from last time. I was thinking about this and I meant to write it down, but I didn't. I couldn't remember. I go, where did we get all those honeycombs and <clears throat> just a bunch of really nice alchemy stuff from the apiaries here. And the bees make a really goofy, oddly satisfying sound when you take them out of here. If you do it fast enough, they sound like a helicopter. Butterflies. Ooh, we've got a wolf chasing a deer. Can we possibly catch the wolf pushing the deer towards us? Butterflies.
Still good on weight. We got about 39 pounds left. Or Quicksilver, yes! Wait, I was not expecting to run into Quicksilver. I have that marked. Uh, or I took a mental note, at least. I'm kind of bummed that we have Quicksilver now, just because it's going to hold on to weight for a while. We're going to hold this in our inventory for a long time until we have uh, Nordic carved armor. Or until we craft it. Because Nordic carved is ebony, Quicksilver, and steel. Another ore vein? Oh no, I thought it was Corundum for a sec. Got the butterfly. So we're about to hit one hour. And we have a lot. We've gotten a lot of stuff. Really good amount. Why not find a random dump chest? Um, I don't necessarily have this marked in the rules. But I'm making it a rule right now. No storage. No bank storage. This is Ultimate Iron Man, right? I think it goes against the old school RuneScape mythos of Iron Man. If I have a bank. I could have sworn there was a butterfly I didn't get there. Random encounter here should be a wolf or something or bandits fighting these guards. No, not today. Looks like it's a peaceful day on the watch. Oh, so no. God, I almost attacked that guard. Beware the two handed demon. Let's get whatever XP we can from him. Hopefully some lock picks. No, I'm not trusting it. They got really pissed off at me last time. You guys remember when that was the peak of comedy on the internet? I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an arrow in the knee. It's like in the same tier as Bad Luck Brian. Oh no, is my vision going to be blurry the whole time until I sleep? I think it is, which I hate. I really hate it. Because it ruins the recording. But what if you built the storage via Hearthfire? I think if we got that far, then we'd probably be close to finishing up this challenge. This is kind of a difficult fight. To take this on before level two? I can sleep here though, I think. <laughs> what a stance what a finishing stance to end that fight that's your best no bed no bed damn no bed here We can make veggie soup. Should have grabbed all those leaks from earlier. Fear the two-handed demon. Okay, two two-handed demons. Uh, this was a bad idea. I might have gotten a little overzealous and jumped in with my stats really low. 
Potions are much less effective right now. 10 points of health, 10 points of magicka. I'm going to start burning through them. Let's run back to the guards. Beware of the two-handed demon. Rule of thumb. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not letting this happen. Shit. Ah, that's a bummer. I think I'm going to make it out of this fight, but I'm wasting a lot of resources just to get through it. What is that? Four skooma already down the drain, a healing potion, two magicka potions. I definitely pushed my luck here. Damn it, you made me waste. Oh, I just wasted like four potions there. What do you need? He, he started swinging, which I guess means he didn't initiate a kill cam. That was close. That was really stupid. Okay, we're not going to get that dumb. We're not, we're not going to be any, we're not going to do anything stupid like that anymore. Okay, that was very, very stupid. Let's just get back into town. Ooh. Hold on. Not before I mine this iron ore. Later, Juve. Gonna get off. Gotta get some sleep. Later. Uh, no. No. Did I, did I, I, I don't remember dismissing you. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Okay. No. I don't, you have work to not, okay. Well, I mean, that's. You're just going to have to explain this to your boss. I need a written note. If you need to call off the stream for work, I need a no. I need written approval. Or I'll have to give written approval. I don't remember. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Oh, I got to get in. This is giving me a headache. Seriously. <laughs> no, Kanarin, you're good. Have a good night. Have a good night at work. Another iron. Although I need to hurry up and start making some arrows. We're getting a lot more leather because I need to craft away this iron. It's going to start weighing me down. 203 out of 225. How much iron do we have? 40. We haven't even hit the big iron mine. There's the big iron mine north of here where we're going to get transmute. There's about 60 iron ore in there. Mm, that might be a... No, nah, it's pretty close to that. Big iron, big iron. I don't know the words. With the big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. I really do have to look away. This blur is starting to get to me. I'm sorry about this. There was never a man like my this might get me some flack but Johnny guitar is a skip there's not a lot of skips on radio new Vegas I think Johnny guitar is a skip 
and it plays so much more often than every other song in the game. You'll be on Mojave Radio just because you don't want to listen to the dialogue between songs, and all of a sudden, well, oh, Mr. New Vegas, there was never a man. I'm like, damn it. Okay, back to Mojave. Like my, there's the same fucking song. Wait, go back, go back. Johnny. It never ends. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you we will. We're going to take a nap. If not, let me know. Let's get some potions made up. Stockpile or level up. So we're going to go blue mountain and wheat. Let's just get our initial health potions. An interesting mixture. Keep experimenting. You'll improve with practice. Save some of them. Oh yeah. If there's anything I can help you, let's, do let's do the experience potions first. So blue mountain flower and blue butterfly wing is good for experience. Bees are resource stamina, I believe. So if we go purple with B, we've got our restore stamina potion. And then I also believe that honeycomb or is that health? Now it is also restore stamina. So we still have a lot of purple mountain flower. We could probably burn off, fail a few of these. Now uh, thistle branch and tundra doesn't go together. So tundra and lavender resist magic. We'll take that to level 21. Save the rest of them. We might be able to make a bit more money on them. Tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. I'm going to back out of this menu real quick. I'm going to eat the first... We know butterfly is health. Canis, chicken egg, death bell is damage health. Yeah, resist fire. We're gonna make a lot of those with dragon's tongue and Amanita. Restore stamina, we knew that. Nightshade, I'm not sure. Torchbug is stamina as well. Yeah. Oh, she sounds excited. Yeah. I ate my potion. Or I ate my ingredients. I'm learning. That's what we like to see. Boom. Take that. Fortify two-handed. More healing. Give me all the restore magical we can. Let's go all four ingredients here and hope we just or three. Lingering damage magica. Eh. It's it's gonna take away our ability to make restore stamina. <clears throat> so let's focus on restore stamina first. Okay, twenty four alchemy. Good start. And we've got a great inventory. We're almost at full, though. This is carrying a lot of weight for us. So resist magic. I'll drop... I'll keep five of them on me for now. We're going to be able to make more of them. Restore magicka, favorite it. Restore stamina, favorite it. Fortify health, we'll favorite all of those. Fortify two-handed. No. Poison... No, let's save the weight for now. Dan, let's just ditch him. Save the weight. We're going to need the weight. So healing potions, we got 13, 16. Magico, we have 25, 11 stamina potions. Good start. I probably should have leveled up and taken the first alchemy perk before doing all of that. Bit disappointed that I didn't in hindsight. <clears throat> If it's worth it. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Days. 
I'll pay the tax. Need anything else? Just let me know. There's no way that's against the law, is it? She just yelled at me. I'm not going to get arrested for paying extra gold. Get away from... No, I... What do you want? No, I'm going to bed. Leave me alone. Let's get to the next day. Stamina, give me five pounds. Health. We'll go stamina and health. We went heavy magicka on the last character, but we're not going to go as heavy this time. Let's take steel. I already have some steel ingots, so I'm going to take steel smithing right away. Maybe get started ahead of the game a little bit. We could. Yeah, let's let's go with one handed. Met Traveler. Down with Oprich, the Hit the cooking spit. Potato soup. Vegetable soup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vegetable soup. Venison chop. Cabbage soup. Simple. Plenty of food now. I'm going to favorite the vegetable soup and try not to use it for food. We'll try to use it as a buff in combat because it's basically unlimited stamina. Lady, could you spare a coin? I did get a bounty. I got a one gold bounty. Wait, I, know I got a one gold bounty for paying 90 extra gold to stay at the hotel. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman and it's time to pay for your crime. I paid 90 times for my crime. One gold. Fine. I'll pay it off. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. Not carrying any stolen goods. I'm going to get some firewood, make the imperial bow. The extra gold, I wanted to debuff sl uh, sleeping at a hotel for the Iron Man challenge. It felt like 10 gold to sleep at a hotel was a bit too easy. And I was using the hotels kind of as a crutch to both advance time and grind some skills. Like I wanted to grind alteration. So I was just standing there sleeping for an hour cast an alteration spell, sleep for an hour, cast a spell. It's a bit cheesy, and I think that balances the hotels to be a bit more fair for the challenge. Much less of a crutch. I need a corundum ingot, don't I? I think I need Corundum for the Imperial Bow. No, it's just two steel ingots. I thought it would be firewood. I can make steel arrows, but I'd rather make iron. And now I'm over Conumbered. Huh. Something's gonna have to give here. What to do, what to do. Well, we'll make some arrows. Okay, I know what we'll do. We'll make some arrows. Drop the firewood, because it's weighing us down a bit. Hit the tanning rack. Let's get some strips. Bunch more iron ingots. Pop in here. Thank you, kind sir. 
Okay. Drop those off. Yeah, now we're down 30 pounds. That quickly. I'm gonna run back, take the level up, grab stamina, and buff our carry weight by another five pounds. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice and easy. And then I'm gonna take destruction one. I feel like I've been using flames a lot more than I have been healing spells. I've been using healing potions to cover that. I still have my rent payment. Go stamina, come on over here to destruction. Okay. I'm loving this so far. I think we're making great progress. Now we could go back immediately and do Bleak Falls Barrow. <clears throat> I don't know if Bleak Falls Barrow is the move right now though. I think we should grind out smithing a bit more. Do some hunting. Kenny, I did not die. Is it still the same prediction from before? Also, Nutpile, thank you very much for the tier one. Are... Have I put any thought towards leveling pickpocketing for the extra 100 capacity? I haven't right now. Not yet on this run. I think I want to stick to my guns and stick to the game plan. I have a feeling that if I veer far off of the game plan, it's going to cost me. I just have this weird sinking feeling. <clears throat> we'll get transmute in a bit. Or, God, getting it early. It pays dividends if we get it early, but I'm not going to go get it early. Because that cave is underrated in terms of difficulty. I think we're more than ready for Bleak Falls, yeah. The, the, the. Um, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Please adhere to the rules. More trick shots, not a stealth archer. I'm a butt archer. Like Mr. Miyagi, Chica! grabbing the fly. Now I'm not using chopsticks to do it. That's much more impressive, but still. Thank you, kind sir. You do you, Jared. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the tier one. Monarch, Monarch, Blue. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Okay, really? Now you're defending butterflies? Hmm? Now you're shepherding butterflies? No. Okay, stick to the mammoth. I'll take care of my things. You take care of your things. We stay friendly. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to rob you blind. Okay, he's a little bit close. Na -na -na. Excuse me, expert lock. Can we get it on the first try? What do you think, chat? Middle, middle? There's no way. Mm, no, that doesn't mean anything. That was still a no-go. Damn. Oh my god, it was. It did give. Oh, I had it on that first, or not first guess, but... Okay, so it's further this way. It's... What is it? It's about 2 o'clock? Flawed Varla Stone? I'm not sure what those count as. Are they technically Grand Soul Gems? Easy. Relax. There you go, bear. 
she's pissed. Bear Grylls is pissed off about what happened last time in Solstheim. She's not fucking around anymore. Ooh, don't run, don't run. He's running. Ah, I got spotted. These damn deer are such a nuisance. Hey, no way! That's how I know that this is the run. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. I'm having a blast. I'm just oh, enjoying nature. Tired. We're hanging out. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Uh, sure. I would love to share a drink with you. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. I love these guys. They're just so nice. They're so kind. However, I'm not drinking that Satan water. Let's walk with him for a bit. Let's hang out. Let's just see what happens to him. Let's follow him for a bit. I don't like that they walk slightly faster than me. It's like they're trying to leave me behind. Come on. Ah, my shots are way off right now. Still, we'll take the iron ore. Thank you, kind sir. Woo. Four month anniversary. Nerdy kitty. Thank you very much for four months. I'm happy that we're celebrating our four month anniversary today. Welcome. Or welcome back, I should say. Don't worry, we're, we'll catch up to the revelers. We're not leaving them behind. Are we going to go to Halted Stream? Yep. Eventually. 213 out of 235. Oh, don't tell me the revelers despawned. Oh, there they are. Damn, they're moving quick. Although they're scaring off all the game. We gotta move quick. If we're gonna go hunting and keep up with the revelers, we have to be really smart with our shots. We gotta start landing them. I've missed like every single shot so far on this run. Look, they're even, they're trailblazing for us. They're spotting the butterflies. They're letting me know. They're lighting the way. Hmm. I feel bad, but I might have to leave these dudes behind because I want to stay focused on the task at hand. And as soon as I get distracted, that's where I think we lose it. God damn it. Now he's going towards the revelers. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Come on. Finally. Finally, one of them just stopped running. I almost pulled out the bow and started targeting the carriage horses. They were on hunting grounds. What was I supposed to do? K 
kill the revelers? No, I don't want to kill them. I feel bad killing the revelers. I don't think I've ever killed them. Okay, I think I did one time. I think when we did without leaving the road, there was one set of revelers I killed, one I became friends with. Turned. Come on, he's going up the road. Is he going to follow the road? I'm having a bad day shooting the bow. Really bad day shooting the bow. There we go. I was due. If I keep at it, I'll get it back. But so far, it's been pretty bad. Not a stealth archer, by the way. These are just regular hunting shots. First try? Oh. Oh. God, I hate this so much. Now they're really far. Oh. Can we get it? Come on. It's on target. Boom. Right in the ass. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, give me two. Got him, nice. All right, I see, I told you we'd get it back. Corundum or of truth. I knew we'd be finding more. I didn't, but I knew we'd be finding more. I really didn't. Someone in chat earlier mentioned that we should start a religion. All right, fine. We worship ore and rocks within. Oh, who sees me? Is it the mud crab? Huh? You ruining all my fun? Now give me your chitin. I'm almost out of weight. And I don't remember where the deer went that we killed. Here's one. Two more pounds, damn. Are the antlers really heavy? No, they weigh 0.1. Is it the meat? Yeah, the meat is pretty heavy. It's two pounds per. Jesus, two pounds of meat? That's a meal. Okay, blue butterfly. Grab this cat. How are we doing on blue mountain flower? Uh, only 18. I'm running a bit low on blue mountain flower. We're going to have to find more soon. Because the majority of it, I'm going to use in combination with yeah i'm gonna use all my blue mountain flower now because i want to use it in combination with the blue butterflies we'll get way more xp that way i don't have enough weight to take out another deer i still have to loot this one Let him get away. Oh, and I'd already looted that one. Damn it. Okay, let's head back. Still have plenty of iron. 
We can go smithing probably. What do we have smithing at? 20. Does it start at 25? We're at 24. Okay, so we should get a 25, 26 ish in that range. You can already tell if we stumble across the occasional wild saber cat, the run is dead. We re we've run into saber cats before. The thing with the saber cat that makes it easier than a two handed bandit is that the saber cat won't immediately initiate kill cam the second it attacks. The problem with the bandit, with the two handed bandit, is let's say I have 60% health and I just am a point, I'm point one seconds too late to opening up the quick menu, freezing the game and drinking some healing potions. If I can't do that, you know, I'm dead. Even if I heal to 100, even if I buff my health to invincibility, I'm dead. Come to chat with an old but with the saber cat, I can play up close and personal with it in the middle of a fight. It just comes down to not reaching zero health, where if I'm fighting a two-handed bandit thug, I can't even get down to 60 health, because if he starts that attack after I've taken damage, it's over, and the run is dead. And where it gets a little bit difficult is, let's say he's got two teammates nearby that are firing arrows. One of them catches me, and bam, I'm down to 70 health, and then not even a half second later, he initiates two-handed attack, runs dead. Let's run around and grab Blue Mountains. Excuse me, kids. Hey, bullying is wrong. Okay, and a flower puts me overweight? I am carrying a ridiculous amount of flowers. That kid is such a milk drinker. Be nice. Don't be mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, hopefully our rent hasn't expired. All right, we're underweight. Hopefully our rent hasn't expired next door because I want to get this level up real quick. That's why we got to be a little bit quick. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. This is an take a old seat by Skyrim if it's worth you need. Here, take a look at this. Some of the yards men can buy. Redaron's retreat? Okay, we'll get the level up. Health, stamina, I'm gonna go stamina again. We'll go one more on stamina and then we'll probably alternate somewhere else on the next level up. Buff alchemy. Hey, watch it. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Probably over encumbered. No, actually not. I thought I was going to be. Well met, traveler. You tried mercenary work? Yeah, Jan. I've been oh. looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to. Let me guess. It's a letter about zombies or something like that. Yandere is the inverse of senpai, right? More inside. We're doing exceedingly well. 15 steel ingots. We're very, very far ahead of schedule. I mean, we'd be stupid not to make steel armor. 
Steel Soldier is 36. Steel Armor is 35. All I need is an Iron Ingot. Four Steel Ingots, an Iron Ingot. Oh, we're way ahead of schedule if we're moving up to the Steel tier of gear. Okay, heavy iron armor. It's not a big upgrade. Not as big as I would have liked. And we do look a little bit goofy, but I don't care. Function over form today. I gotta check the recipe one more time. Looks like I'm out of leather strips. Yeah. Good news about that is, hop on over here. Leather strips weigh, I think, only 0.1. So it's always gonna weigh less than leather. Steel Nordic. Steel sword. Which one should I go with? I guess I'll go with the Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Just so that we have something that looks a bit different. So we'll go with the steel tier weapon. I think that's the highest tier that stuff goes to. Steel soldier gauntlets. And then boots. Steel shin boots, sure. I must have crafted one too many. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. All right, let's temper. Oh, I'm out of steel ingots. I used all my steel ingots. Okay, so we can't upgrade. Not use that armor you dropped? Do you mind if I take it? No, no, you can't. It's mine. Well, you better go pick it up then, or someone snatches it. Shut up. No, I'm doing my own thing. Well, that's actually not a bad thing. I don't have steel right now to upgrade my gear, but what I'd rather do is level up my smithing and then take a smithing potion on top of it via leveling up our alchemy, and we can massively upgrade our gear if we're able to. Can you sell crafted gear and potions? No, we cannot use uh, vendors at all. I probably need more leather strips since we crafted a little bit more. We have 40 pounds of clearance in our weight. Favorite the sword, favorite the bow. Do a potion check, where are we at? Resist magic. I'll keep the five, they're a bit better. Favorite that as well, favorite the stamina. We are loaded on potions. Don't be giving me my stuff, oh, Don't. I don't want the resist, bet. take it. I don't want it. Enough. I wanna make some progress. And we are, we're making good progress. You're thinking of changing your username to Two Hand Demon instead? Go for it. That would be awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you for the hundred bits. Did you find any gems when mining? Not. Uh, actually, yeah, a couple. But the thing is, you need the highest tier of gems in order to make gold jewelry that's worth a lot for the big XP. Whereas with silver jewelry. You only need like an amethyst or <clears throat> lower tier stuff. And when we go get transmute, which we're about to do, we're gonna combine it. 
Do we do transmute right now? Are we ready for transmute? Let's take care of the bandits at the Lunar Forge first. I thought he fell through the map for a sec. We're all the way down to 181 pounds. That is awesome. That's huge. We have, so we have 60 pounds of clearance. I don't know if that's enough to get us through both the Lunar Forge. That looks like bait. That looks like bait. Not taking the bait. Still have to keep an eye out for blue mountain flowers as we move through the map. Come on, don't react. Nice. It's a reference to the Lady of the Lake. I was thinking... Yeah, I was thinking I would jump in there and then all of a sudden... Bunch of mud crabs, a bunch of evil mud crabs would jump out and attack me. One of them is going to come across with magic. Let's just isolate one enemy at a time. If we can. Although they're probably just going to stay. There's the magic. Nice. Nice try. Let's save potions. Ooh! Bear Grylls not fucking around this time. That's right. I'm ready. Let me just drink that milk real quick. Nothing like slamming a jug of milk mid-battle. It gets your endorphins flowing. It gets your energy rolling. Salmon steak. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, I think that's the best way to deal with the mage. Just get up close and personal. Smack him with a power attack. And hold the fire on him as much as you can. Straight back and forth. You literally can't hit me. Two, three. Oh, yeah. This is the run. This. Ladies and gentlemen, is what it looks like when the moment hits you and you think to yourself, hmm, I think this is the run. And then you realize, as the orchestral Nordic band up above chants your greatness into the sky, you realize this is in fact, definitely, absolutely, unequivocally, the run. I'm not the biggest fan of taking a Welkin stone, but sure, we'll allow it. It's AE, right? We'll allow it. It's a part of the game that I've allowed myself to play. Can't get too cocky. If I get too cocky, I die. We're gonna stick to the plan. Maybe we'll come back here and clear it out, but let's stick to the plan. 
Now we move east. We hit all of the resource nodes in here. We get the transmute ore book. We keep it moving. The Elduve Screws Sky Juve. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's go with it. Make it canon. Stray dog? What are you doing all the way out here, buddy? It's time for you to go back home, dog. Your pet heads back home. Wait, this is my dog? Wait, wait, no, no. If you're a... Hold on, buddy. Stand back. Is that another corundum? Oh, it's gold. Still, we're going to take it. I don't remember adopting that dog. I can't. Hey, buddy, look, I, I don't think you want me to adopt you. I don't think you know my history with adoption. It's a pretty checkered past. How can I not adopt the dog? Because I care about the dog. Okay, another battle sequence here. We've been through this fight a few times. Mage is gonna push. Mage always pushes, but we push harder. Really liking that combo. Someone's behind me. No? Oh my god, I thought there were two. I thought there was one directly behind me. Oh, you cheeky. You think I'm gonna waste Magicka? Or potions on you? The amount of times I have cleared out this dungeon now is getting crazy. I think this is the fourth time now since we started doing this challenge. This cave is always a big moment for Rocky. <clears throat> is this expert? Yeah, we're on expert right now. Hey, hey, you definitely did. It was Rocky uh, failing on his attack. We've talked about this, Rocky. You disappoint me. Slow response time. I feel like you're just not into it. What did I take? shield <clears throat> okay everybody buckle in for 25 minutes of mining looks like we've dropped a few frames on this stream more than usual only a thousand frames so far which at however many frames per second isn't actually a lot in the grand scheme of things Yes, uh, Antimonin, we do have a Discord for stream notifications, among other things. Some people join just for YouTube and stream notifications, um, but of course you can chat and hang out and meet all of the kind and strange, I mean that in an endearing way, people in the community. But yeah, exclamation point Discord. 
mining is performance intense. It must be. It, there must be something going on with the mining. You know what happened yesterday? So, I don't know if you follow the community posts on the channel at all, but I saw a picture of this t-shirt that was like, I'm not... I'm not the stepdad, I'm just the dad that stepped up. And I thought it would be really funny if I went in game and got a screenshot of Ty Pennington, our character from the previous video on the channel, with Canood and Braith at the isolated swamp tower where they are forever living in solitude. And I was like, oh, it'd be kind of a dark and funny joke since that video just came out. But when I loaded in that save to take the screenshot, Inside the tower, my game was running at like 20 FPS. If that, it was running at like 10 FPS. It was really bad. And I've never once had a frame rate problem with this game. Oh, let me show you guys, by the way. I kind of posted this as a joke on Twitter, but I did end up actually buying this shirt. I don't think I could sell it because of legal reasons. But we made this really dumb shirt. It's really stupid, but I thought it was really funny. Um, it says, don't piss me off. I'm close to leveling and you look like Scrib. That's the shirt. It's, it's based on a really stupid shirt that does actually exist. That's like, don't piss me off. I'm close to leveling and you look like just enough XP, which is a real shirt that does exist and you can buy. But I was talking to Mickey D last night and I was like, hey, what if we took this shirt and put like the Morrowind XP bar on it. And then it was his idea to change it to where you just put the scrib on the bottom. And so we ended up buying it. <laughs> we ended up buying it. But if it's anything like the Joffrey sweater I got, which I mean, it's, it's funny. Like it's Joffrey. It's just an oblivion character's face on a sweater and I love it, but it printed out way, way more saturated than originally planned. I mean, look at it. This is orange. It's like orange, orange. It's super saturated. Also, I am aware that the speedrun timer is running, but uh, I don't really care too much. Jabo! Scrib? <laughs> How are you, Jabo? I, I couldn't figure out, Jabbo, how to get uh, load pausing to work, but we're still just running with the timer. I tried. I put it into game mode or whatever it is uh, to compare to game time or something like that. I just couldn't get it going. Thank you for sending your stream over. How is everybody doing? If you came over from Jabbo's stream and you're wondering exactly what the challenges we're doing here in Skyrim, exclamation point Iron Man will take you to a... Um, a Google Slides PowerPoint that I put together that gives a little bit of the backstory on the RuneScape challenge that inspired this run, as well as the rule set that we're playing with for this current run. But we're making really good progress on this character so far. This is our fourth attempt. Technically, we did one practice one run, two that failed. And this is the first real run where I think we have a good shot. That's not good. Thank you, kind sir. But what's consistently yeah. ended the run every single time are two-handed demons. Oh. Fucking electricity? I don't know where that came from. Okay. We gotta dip. Unless Rocky wants to save the day again. Oh. Chill out with the fucking lightning! Okay, one down. Two-handed demons right in front of us, though. We have to make sure we're at full health before he even initiates attack or we're fucked. Bandit Chief. About half health. Not bad. I'm leaving, though. I don't want to risk it. We've played this game before, and we've lost a few times. We're going to give him some time. Let him reset just a little bit. It's like no deaths, and you can only use items you make. So it's uh, it's permadeath. We're playing on expert. There's uh, 
no vendors, no weapons or armor looting, so we can't sell to make gold. Um, we can only loot gold and use gold for like carriages or when we actually buy our house. Uh, we can only mine and use ores that we either loot or find. And yes, any weapons or armor upgrades that we use, we have to craft manually. And our goal is to build a house with hearth fire. Thank you, kind sir. Can S -C -R -I -B. Thank you, Jabbo. Nine months. Oh my God, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I think I might have missed another alert. I'm so sorry. Let me. Let me just double check. There was Jabbo. Oh, uh, not Danny. Not Danny Darko. Thank you so much for the prime. I think those are the only ones I missed, but uh, thank you, Jabo, for sending over your stream. I hope your stream was great. Looked like a fun one. I didn't, I wasn't able to catch any of it today. Only the title itself. It looks like a fun challenge. So we'll go back in here sneaking. Now you may be wondering why I'm freaking out and why I'm so nervous about this bandit itself. So the thing is with Skyrim, if you run into a bandit, and that's a bandit chief, so it's a tier two, two and a half, tier three bandit, and the deal with them with two-handed weapons, they deal such high damage on a one-hit basis that if I'm anywhere under full health, they can just initiate a kill cam, and no matter how much I heal, no matter what I do, even if I open up quick menu right as the animation starts, I'm fucked, I'm dead. That's how every single run has ended. These guys are a hurdle and I'm done fucking around with them. I'm not risking it anymore. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll play quickly and mess up all the other NPCs, but if they have a two-handed weapon, I'm not playing. Thank you, kind sir. Why love you, Jew. Drop Dead Connor, thank you very much for the tier one. Stealth Archer, no. Uh, no, no not, not gonna use any stealth archery because we have another challenge run. Solstheim Legendary Permadeath. Uh, region lock that we're going to do and we're going to beat and there's a lot of stealth a lot of archery not stealth archery along with conjuration in that run so i'd like to avoid it and stick to the destruction slash melee build we have here it's been fun too aside from these characters okay his position might have reset i'm going to show you all something that hopefully works here. Although Rocky hasn't been as cooperative in this cave as he has in other caves. Where we'll, do do do. We gotta stack them all like this. If you're unfamiliar with Rocky, uh, he's actually a Daedric God. He's not really listed in canon much, but that's because he's so powerful. None of the other Daedric Gods wanna talk about him much. That shadow is freaking me though. Freaking me out. Come on, Rocky. Climb over the other rock. Okay, that one doesn't want to move. Those might be stacked up on each other enough to work. I don't know what it is with this hallway, though. The rocks are much less deadly in here than in others. Oh, he just fully reset position. Let's tag him just a bit. He's gonna flex, beat his chest. Yeah, we should be able to get him pretty easily here. All right, Rocky, do your thing. Defend me, defend your master. Damn it. I don't know why. Oh, you know what it might be? I think every time we've tried it in this cave, this little patch of iron actually puts him on top and he can walk right on top of him. Okay, crisis averted. I know, you might be thinking, hey, that enemy was really easy. Why were you so cautious? Believe me, the second I stop being cautious, the run ends and I am sad and we are completely fucked which I would like to avoid. Looking for vegetable soup ingredients right now, if I can. Potion of the Berserker, is that two-handed? Yeah, don't need that. So we're gonna get a bunch of the iron ore here, transmute 
a good amount of it into silver, create jewelry so we can level up our smithing a bit more. Right now, our goal is going to be to head east. As we head east, we're going to find a corundum mine. Just in terms of the challenge and keeping this runescape inspired, I think it would be fun to go hit the next tier of ore, just like in runescape, even though right now it seems like efficiency-wise, it probably would be best to just stick to all the iron we're finding and transmute it. But I think it'd be kind of fun. Also, we chose an orc character because it's going to allow us immediate access to an ebony mine. Dan, my day is going well. Thank you for asking. But I hope... I hope anybody who came over here and isn't totally clear on what's going on understands a little bit more. Permadeath makes this a little bit stressful. Or... It makes it much more frustrating than it would be without permadeath. This is actually a really fun playstyle. But I'll have to talk to DDM and see if it's possible to make this some sort of mod. Like if you were able to put the prerequisites or the rule set into the... Nope, can't carry that. The only weapons you're allowed to loot at the beginning are a pickaxe and a woodcutter's axe. Those are allowed. There is a corundum ore in here. What the hell? Fourth time in this mine, and I've never seen corundum. Yeah, the rules... It turns out there are two wood elf sisters. It should be exclamation point Iron Man, but I think that there is a delay on the command, just so that the chat isn't always taken up by... What's it called? By the uh, link. If we only had 64 item slots. Well, we do have our carry weight and we can't store our items anywhere. We'll have to take the potion of strength and try to be really quick. Okay, beautiful camera work. We love that. Can you quick mine? I can't because that would technically be me equipping and using a weapon that I did not craft. Also, I had talked about it earlier, but I kind of like just going into the animation. It gives me a tiny little break to look at chat. Don't you get ebony armor unlocked at level 60? I think ebony crafting is at smithing 80 but I want to get to 50 for Nordic carved armor. Because for the challenge itself of building a house, it's only in Falkreath. Falk, like the way Skyrim's map is laid out is like, this is tier one, this is tier one, maybe tier two, a few tier two enemies, tier five if you count like giants and mammoths, but mostly tier two. This is kind of leaning up to tier two and a half, a little bit of tier three, it gets more difficult here, where this is like three and a half to four, because you've got the four swarm, they're a bit tougher. So my plan is to start here. Eventually we'll move over this way and fight our way through. There's a corundum mine right here. There's an ebony mine right here. At level 50, we hit uh we get the advanced armors perk, which allows us to craft Nordic carved armor, which should be more than powerful enough to let us survive in Falk Wraith easily grind up to the 5,000 gold that we need to buy the house, right? Because 5,000 gold will be a little bit of a grind if we can't sell items to make the cash. If we can sell the uh, vendors, that's easy, but we can only make money by looting it or completing quests. Another common question is in regards to enchanting. The only disenchantment we can get is if we are, if we complete a quest and we're given an enchanted weapon, we're allowed to disenchant it. But that's it, we can't use it. So if you're given a quest reward that's not enchanted, you just gotta drop it. And hope they give you gold or something. At least that's, uh... Okay, let's not step on a bear trap and end the whole fucking run. Uh, what do we have for iron ore? Jesus, 50? Okay. 
It's not really what I was expecting, but that's about 50 iron daggers. Even more. How long am I streaming? Uh, probably for a while longer. Was I a Spoko or a Summit guy in college? Uh, Summit. I heard it closed down. That's the first I've ever been asked about Iowa City bars in chat. I do have the bounty. Well, actually, I got the bounty for Red Around's Retreat, but not for the place nearby. I'm overweight right now, relying on a strength potion, so let's get back to town. You were a Deadwood guy? Nice. Not, I wasn't much of a Deadwood guy. Nowadays, I would probably be a Deadwood guy, to be honest. I like to consider myself a much different person. Actually, no, I don't consider, I am a significantly different person than I was in college, I was a shithead. You need iron to make things like nails for assembling your house. I, th I, I would think by the time we get down there, iron should be easy to find. I want to say it's 10 days for the ore or 30 days for the ore inside of a mine to refresh. Corundum? Oh my god, how am I fi I'm finding every Corundum ore vein. This is insane. So I game planned for this stream. I spent a lot of time yesterday thinking about strategy, what our initial steps are going to be, what are the things we want to focus on, and I made note of this Corundum ore mine that's a little bit northwest of Riften that we were going to try and hit. That was a big part of this run because I wanted to get steel gear. I wanted to achieve that tier of armor and weapons. We're already there. We have a full steel set. In two hours. Yeah, I... I, I really was not expecting that much. But we should be able... Okay, uh, let's go... Oh, you know what? 11 amethyst. Ruby. Can I make a ruby, a gold ruby necklace? I have no magicka though. My max magicka is super low. Yeah, see, for for gold here, you need you need like the flawless gems. You need really good gems, but for the silver ones, it's not as much. Here's what we can do. So another arbitrary rule I have for this run is well, if we sleep at a hotel, we just have to store 90 gold somewhere. Oh, crap. So the price for a hotel is technically 100 gold. It's a bit more balanced. Keeps us on our toes a bit more. Makes us think about our money as we save it. What I'm going to do here... Okay, I know what we'll do. Come back here. We did this yesterday. If I hold on to the silver ore, it's going to automatically turn it into gold. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was a waste. I wasted those potions too. Yes. Okay, I was thinking I did something really stupid there. So now we can make stuff like the silver amethyst ring or the ruby ring, right? 260, that's a bunch of XP. We'll take the last strength potion. 
Did I drink the wrong one? Oh my god, I'm still one over? I kind of want to wear the ring. It only weighs 0.25. Uh... Okay, I can burn half a pound. We'll take the wolf pelt that's on us. Go leather. Leather strips. Now I'm still a pound over. Damn. What are we getting rid of? Torch? I'm getting rid of the Welkin stone. It doesn't feel vanilla enough. Even though it is. Technically. I don't know why those just feel... I mean, they are pretty rare. We'll see. We'll see how often they pop up. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get... I enjoy this work. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay, let's put our gold somewhere. We'll pay our dues somewhere where we don't get a one gold bounty for paying extra. For tipping the hotel, we go to jail. We've gone stamina the last few levels. I like going stamina. I just love stamina in general. We can sprint, we can power attack, but we'll get that one-handed perk where power attacks cost less. I love the extra five pounds of carry weight, but I'm gonna go with Magicka on this one. We haven't invested in Magicka like at all. Smithing, we just gotta keep working on. Is it worth taking fighting stance? It might be. Potions you mix that restore health, magicka, and stamina. Yeah, we're going to take physician. I am still over encumbered. 250. Wait, what? What am I missing here? Don't make me start getting rid of my potions. Nine pounds over. Yeah, hold on. I got to think through this. I'll ditch the woodcutter's axe for now. There's a replacement in town here. My character's name should have been Boar Thrills. How? Why? Why so? No, this is Bear. This is the Bear of Grills. She died in Solstheim. She's here to make up for her failure. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More, More inside. inside. Let's do a little bit of this nonsense. We love it. I'm going to burn some of the gold. I'll be able to find a lot more gold eventually. 
But we have to clear out some of the weight that we have. A lot of this iron ore weight that's on us, we got to get rid of. no clue what the hell I just made. It always, like, uh, adjusts the menu, and then I lose track of it. I always end up making a mace. Did I make anything else? Did I make nails or something stupid? No. I have enough amethyst to make five more. So we could transmute all ten... or at least nine of our iron ore. Yeah, let's do that. Let's transmute nine more iron ore. And I just turned it into gold. Go figure. Okay, let's transmute the remaining 10 iron ore that we have. Because I'm a dummy. Apologies, chat. I want to kind of be locked in and just fire through this grinding as best I can. Although I'm probably going to have to go pay 100 gold at the inn before I'm able to do all this. My magic is going to be too low. Transmute always selects silver and turns it into gold, so I have to drop it each time. Okay, three more. Come on, let me get through it. Don't make me run back to the hotel. Did I drop it that time? No! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I forgot to drop it. Damn it. That's all right. Suffering from success, right? Oh, we're getting hungry. You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. Someone could get hurt. All right. I'll show you all this dialogue because a lot of people, you know, I'm not sure how many people stuck around after Jabo sent his stream over, but this is a real dialogue and a real way to get a bounty in Skyrim. Yeah. You made yourself clear, but I don't give a shit. I will litter all I want. No. Do you care about rotting away for a month in a cell? Uh, but nobody wants that, right? Painful for you, annoying for me. So, you pay my fine and you walk away. Suck my dragonborn balls. Is that so? Well then, I'll have to charge you with disturbing the Yara's peace. I think this is the only instance of this term in the entire game, but crime gold. Ten crime gold. I'm not sure if the Iron Man challenge started in RuneScape, but it's the only... It's like the original version that I'd heard of it. Okay, this is by far the highest we've gotten our smithing. So... There's a couple of things we could do. We could go back and... I think it's probably a good idea. Well, first, let's go sleep. Let's go spend 100 gold and sleep. Wait, I know but it might make economical sense for us to go fight some enemies, get involved in some combat, and use the potions that I have on me, because I have a lot on me, before we go back and craft a shit ton more potions. Because if I go out and I craft 60 more potions, that's 30 pounds, and if they're magic stamina healing potions, I'm gonna want to keep them. If it's work you need, sure thing. It's yours for it. I'll show you. To your room, right this way. Need anything? Right. So it 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 makes sense. Oh, great. 
to not craft a shit ton of potions right now. We're going to go back to stamina, take another five pounds. And then come in here and take the power attack. Yeah, we'll take fighting stance. I really like that perk. In midair, eat some salmon steak. 360, land it. Thank you, kind sir. Arana, you're... Euronymous. Is that how I say that? Thank you very much for the Prime. Oscar, how are you? Welcome. You can put stuff in containers to avoid that if you want. No, no, no. In RuneScape Iron Man... Uh, in RuneScape Iron Man, there is no player bank. If you need more I'm gonna stop looting food for a while, though. We're good on food. Kyutetsu, is that how I say that? Thank you for stopping by. If you join the companions, they give you a free owned bed. All you have to do is be a courier and whack some guy's shield three times. You're not wrong. Uh, but that, that, that does feel a little eh. It's, it's all about being in the spirit of the challenge, at least for me. For how, for how I do this, um, it feels it feels a little not in the spirit. But the beauty of Skyrim, the beauty of sandbox Thank games, you, kind, is if you would Less like to attempt three. this, you can do it however you want. Jack Ventura, thank you so much for the Prime. How are you? I appreciate that. I need to come up with some more thank you lines because my brain just turns into default mode. Factory, default settings, thank you. I appreciate that. How are you? But genuinely, see, that's another one I'll, 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 I'll throw out there. The more I say genuinely, the less genuine it sounds. How fucked up is that? Who made up these rules? This is bullshit. I want a refund. Is that Silent Moons? Or is Silent Moons the one we cleared out? Altered Stream? Ah, it is Silent Moons. Yeah, let's take out Silent Moons. And crush Butterfly Kin on our way there. Die, bastard! You will help me achieve greatness! Alchemical greatness shall be achieved by murdering every butterfly in existence. I will have them! Or die trying. I'm probably gonna die trying. IRL has the worst devs. Am I, like... I'm saying. For real, we need some patches or something. Don't sleep on the big mud crab. All right. Mud crabs can hit hard. They heard everyone talking shit after oblivion and they were tired of fucking around. I'd like to steal some one-handed XP right now, though. I'm a bit lacking. Okay, there's for sure... Oh, this is where we died yesterday. We died in here. There's a two-handed bandit outlaw. And then you see Bandit Outlaw and you go, oh, okay, so it's a slightly upgraded Bandit. No problem. Eh? No. Oh, oh no, that's not how it works. Yeah, we're going to take a right turn. It's a crowded hallway. Don't sleep on this fight. Dodge him. Easy. This guy right here, Bandit Outlaw. Let's just try and keep our distance. There we go, get the stumble in the middle of his power attack. Two stumbles in a row, beautiful. Let's keep our distance though. I'm not letting him get a power attack on me. I only have 110 health, it's not worth it. Oh, oh, are you burning alive? Do you know how much fucking pain you caused me yesterday? 
cry about it. Could not care less. Kind of a corny and cheesy way to get through a fight. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Impstool. Hold on. Impstool is valuable. Flawless Garnet. We can combine that with gold. Don't need a woodcutter's axe right now. If I need one, I'll find one. Okay, first try. <laughs> Open sesame. An adept, on an adept lock, you need to correct slightly more than an expert. There we go. Are we in the clear? No traps? Lots of potions in here. Lots of high level potions in here, actually. Good amount of gold, good amount of lock picks. I don't think I'm alone. Wow, lots of gold. Back up to 700. Good, good, good. Very nice. We could head forward and clear out this bandit camp. I think most of the external enemies are fairly low level. We fought through it a few times too in all these runs. <laughs> Mind talking about my time in Fallen Earth? Uh, I played it a ton when I was in high school because I want to say I probably started playing it around 2014, 2015. My freshman, sophomore year in high school. God, maybe I was even older. Um, and uh, I had played Fallout 3, was my first Fallout game, and having a sort of online MMO with other players that scratched enough of the Fallout itch, I think it's sort of what had me playing that game a lot. Here, have a coin. Deadass my favorite streamer. I've seen all the VODs on Too bad it's 6 a.m. and I have to leave for work frown. Time out. Darcy, was that Darcy that sent that? Thank you very much. Sorry, for some reason, I have a tough time. It doesn't show uh, donations in the actual Twitch sort of log of things, but I appreciate it. That was very kind of you. And thank you. Thank you for watching the channel and for supporting the channel, all that stuff. I appreciate that. Thank you. More Fallout-y? No, I, I, I wish it was as well. Hey! Oh, I thought you guys were welcoming me, you know, in a friendly fashion. Not in a rip my face off kind of way, but don't worry. I got you. On the positive side, all the stab wounds I give you, I'll automatically cauterize. Now that's not necessary. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. where the fuck did you come from? Hold on, way more damage than I was expecting. Let's be careful here. Please don't kill me. 
too late. Should have asked sooner. And in a nicer fashion. You had the please, but you didn't have the pretty. Pretty please? Don't hurt me. I'm an innocent bandit. Maybe I would have bought in then. Dude, I'm kicking your guy's ass. What do you mean? That all you got? You think you can take me? Yeah, Bear Grylls, this is the run. This is the run. Thank you, kind sir. Here, have another coin. I like it when I break Twitch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I when you break Twitch? You didn't break Twitch. All you did was interrupt me. Which okay, I can look past that. I can look past your transgressions. Thank you. But seriously, guys, you, you keep cutting me off with these alerts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. Expert streamer uses reverse psychology. Where's that last bandit? I hear you groveling out there. You're warning me. Where are you? Okay, you know what? We're taking the secret entrance. I'm warning you. Back off. Thought I heard something. Wait, did I see something? No. All right, let's clear out the fort. Let's do Bleak Falls, let's get Foos, let's get Salmon Row, then let's Fine move then. east. Here's another coin. Joke <laughs> on you, I also like interrupting you. Damn it! You're lucky I just stopped talking, so you technically didn't interrupt me. Which means that that was very kind of you. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes With a bear trap so well placed It will bite your toes Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes Hey, Dick Cheese! Almost had it. You were that close to greatness. Two handed demon. Hmm. It's just not working out. You might need a new strategy. Reevaluate, then come back to me. Two handed demon. Nice power attack, but you missed and you fell into a stumble. Never should have come in. Okay, Agnes is actually the most powerful person in this whole dungeon. But I remember she had an attitude yesterday. So I'm doing that without a second thought. Na 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 
Oh, by the way, guys, how do you like my cosplay today? I'm going with the Walmart Han Solo look. Is Bear still alive? Bear is alive. I was chasing her around with a bear trap? Yeah, but she had an attitude about it. <clears throat> okay, there's a high-level bandit chief in this room as well. I believe one of them is a magic user. But he's caught on a chair, so let's take advantage. Yeah, it's a bandit thug. Lots of health on him. Let's not leave a lot of room for... Holy fuck, look at the damage. One hit. Is better than the real thing. Keep him stumbling. Keep him stumbling. Okay, he's pretty low now. Stumble, stumble, stumble. Stay stumbling. Let's get one more stamina. Two hits. Stumble, dead. Okay. Woo, you gotta be careful, though. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you let him knock your health down and you get in that 70 to 60% range and BAM! With, before you can even blink, before you have enough time to think, they will kill you. That animation will start. You'll be begging to get out of it. But there's no escape. The kill cam death animation, it claims all. Light armor? Ew. Um, I totally missed that last alert. So I'm gonna go check it. But thank you. Might have been the same... It might have been the same person, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. A Josh Strife Hayes cosplay? Uh, I don't have the... He has a, um... He does go with the vest, but he wears a dress shirt. His is more, um... High class. You hate the fact that I have James Corden beside me? I hate it, too. I didn't hire him. These were the producers. They gave him a contract extension. I wanted to get rid of him. This isn't my call. Do you guys want me to dress formally on a stream? I'm not much of a tie guy. I'm one of those douchebags who will go with a sport coat and a dress shirt but not wear a tie. I don't know. I think ties are overrated. Constricting? If it's a funeral... And yeah, Ty is a full tux. Okay, so I thought of my own really stupid quest. You know how we did that recent video where everybody was submitting uh, time, sir. future me hates me. Thank you very much for the prime. Um, You know how we just did the user submitted quests not too long ago, which was absolutely so much fun and thank you everybody who watched the video and was able to get a laugh out of it i had a ton of fun making it um i thought of my own quest and it would be to attend the wedding of uh victoria what's her name victoria venici whatever her name is uh and to assassinate her in really stupid ways like, just find the dumbest ways possible that we can kill her and ruin the wedding. And I could wear, I could dress up for that, <laughs> right? Because we're attending the wedding. We have to be formal. We got to fit in. Vittoria Vici. What did I say? Full senior prom getup. I included a picture of me at my senior prom in one of my videos. I think it was the Bruma video. If you go back and rewatch the Bruma video. Yeah, it was 100% the Bruma video. There's a bit in there where I include myself in my uh, prom. I have no beard. I'm clean shaven. I definitely have acne in the photo.
I, I get really weirded out when I see pictures of myself clean shaven. Like, who is that guy? Oh, what is going on? I haven't been clean shaven in probably... It's hard to remember. I... I didn't know how to, like, line up a beard, and I'm still not great at it. It's usually about two fingers above your Adam's apple. Is usually sort of where you should aim. Um, but I always talk about this stream, and I'll always recommend it. I know you. Get yourself a good barber, and then tell the barber, hey, let your facial hair grow out, kind of not disgustingly, but just let it grow out, and then ask your barber, hey, can you line me up? I've never been lined up before. They'll help you out, and you'll get a better idea. And then as soon as I had him do it for the first time, I was like, whoa. Well, the, the first time I did it, I was like, damn, I look like Drake. <laughs> I think that was the first reaction I had. Not actually, but I was like, damn, okay, I, I like this. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it. And I haven't. Ooh, that's a sexy stamina potion. 35 points now? I like that. This is a nightmare. This is just all over the place. Solution of health? That's not... Fortify two-handed? Why would I need that? Resist magic? I haven't really had to use the magic ones, but we will. My quick slots menu is a disaster. I have to scroll through it now. It's, it's worth it, though. It's going to keep me alive. Might slow things down a bit, but... Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. I almost... I look pale. Why? Because I'm cold? I'm not even cold. I'm warm. The Colonel Sanders cut? What is that? Like a... Thin, but... No, not thin, but like a, like a thick, but... Also slender goatee in the middle. The handlebar? Or no, it's it's actually, it's kind of like a waxed mustache. Oh. Let's see if we have to pay rent. Hopefully we get a free sleep. Can we sleep for free? Because next I want to do Bleak Falls. I don't want to pay rent! Damn it! If it's working... Sure thing. It's yours for it. I'll show you to your room. Show you to your room. Anything else? Just let me know. If by show me to my room you mean wake up next to me or stand there the entire time. Go health 120. I kind of want to keep hammering alchemy. Potions you mix with beneficial effects have an additional 25%. Yeah. Should probably just keep buffing alchemy. I feel like I've overplayed my hand though on potions. We'll have to see. I'm. It might have been better for me to take heavy armor there. We'll have to see. We'll let it play out. Cabinabac, Cabinabac. I agree. I think this is the run. Mushroom, you've been here the whole time. Thank you for hanging out. You made it through the entire interruption arc? That was a crazy arc. Is this still the Argonian? No, uh, Dies From Bullshit did indeed fulfill their destiny. Alright, we're at just under three hours. So, when we hit three hours... 
I'm gonna take a short break. Um, you know, five minutes, step away for a little bit, stretch, get some water in me, go to the bathroom and whatnot, um, and then come back. Give my voice a bit of a break. You know what I realized? After we did about 10 hours of streaming in two days, I had a really sore, like, it felt like I was getting sick. I thought I was getting sick, but my, like, the back of my throat was just sore from talking so much. Which I guess is kind of a good thing that I go through the majority of these streams. Thank what in the sir. fuck am I? Ew. Oh my gosh. I just about, whoa. Oh, no. Hunting only. Cringe. That was, that was gross. Thought I was about to use my arrows. Furos, furos, thank you so much for the prime. Two months. There are dragons about, traveler. Be warned. I know. I was. Hold on. Was anybody here on the last stream? Y'all know what happened with these two, right? Then you've seen them too. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Last time, we didn't give them any gold. And karma, like a freight train, came by at a speed that would pierce the sound barrier and fucking nailed us right in the face. So today... I stick to my guns, fuck off. I <laughs> you think I'm giving away five gold? No way. It's got to go into my house. Come on. Think I'm leaving that crap? Charity? Pfft. Whatever. I got a mission to accomplish. I mustn't distract myself with the rabble. A common farmer. I'm an adventurer. I won't allow myself to be distracted. Runs dead. <laughs> normally, I would. And by normally, I mean, eh. Usually in these videos, I end up being a dickhead. But that's because being a chaotic dickhead is fun. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Money. Cash. Oh! Oh! Boom! Woo! Mmm! Mmm! You taste that? Tastes like fucking greatness! Wrong spell. Wrong hand. Ooh. What a tease. Thought there was more Mora. Where'd they land? Shot came from, yeah, this way. Wind would have blown the hawk. Where did they land? You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I hit the shot. You started watching the second channel last year. Then you found the second, or you started watching the channel last year. Then you found the second channel. Then you downloaded Twitch to watch the streams. Well, welcome. Welcome to Twitch. There's a lot of other great streamers while you're here. Um... I can't think of any off the top of my head other than my channel, of course. No, I'm just playing. There's there's a bunch out there. It's a good community for the most part. Depends on where you land. You can get a little crazy other places. 
Stay clear of any two-handed. I don't think there's too many two-handed demons in Bleak Falls Barrow, although the final boss at the end is easy to stumble and stun lock, but can get a little frisky. <clears throat> so we gotta watch out. What am I gonna win in the next streamer awards? Uh, well, I think we should have a, uh, I think there should be a sandbox um, award. There, there, there should be a sandbox games streamer award. But they already have an award for, uh, nice try. <laughs> You really think I won't trade some stamina to interrupt your power attack? I, I know your move set, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, come on now. You got to be on time. Two, three. Whoop. Oh, now that's. See, now you pissed me off. Yeah. And Count out your coin. <laughs> can't believe you've done this we were having fun we were playing a game and then you decided to shoot me um i will not win anything at the streamer awards it's uh, uh it's very hard to do i just hope that one of my friends gets nominated for something because that would be really cool And because I'm hoping uh, one of my friends gets nominated and someone can bring me as a plus one. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I want to go. Joke's on you. The bandit didn't know how to count to three. Sure, you're actually probably not too far off. Yeah, pass a speech check. No shot. I'm a really bad liar. I'm a really, really bad. Like when I play Among Us, if I'm ever the imposter in Among Us, I'm horrible at it. Someone's dealing decent damage. Is it you? Ah, that it's an outlaw. I was gonna say, they're hitting kind of hard. It's what you want, huh? <laughs> Waste of a stamina potion. For a millisecond, my brain thought that I was getting kill cammed. What's my, has my heavy armor not leveled up at all? It's only leveled up once. I, I need to go heavy armor. That's the next perk I'm taking. Regardless of where the rest of this journey goes, I have to take a heavy armor perk. I should have taken that over alchemy. That was dumb. I could have, I could have waited until I was going to make potions to take the alchemy perk. You guys ever been through this dungeon? It's pretty niche and low key. Not a lot of people have ever played through it. You nice dodge. That was pretty good. Good effort. You tried and the effort that you put on display there has not gone unnoticed. A novice lock? Impossible. Something is wrong here. Thwarted by a novice lock. It's time I get the Steam achievements by playing unmodded. 
So I'm going to Iron Man Skyrim on Legendary. Oh no. Oh, good luck. Best wishes to you. I salute your endeavor. That sounds, uh, that's very impressive if you're able to pull that off. <sighs> All right, I don't feel like fighting this guy, so let's watch him die. Uh, okay, chat, react like we're watching a car chase, like a live car chase from helicopter camera, and the second he dies, pretend that the car that was being chased by the cops like got into an insane crash. But you got wait until he dies. Wait until he dies first. One, two, two. Pickpocket. Soul gem, whatever we get in here. I'd like to avoid getting a taxia. I think that's all. New rule, no scrolls. He really likes to take out my stamina, doesn't he? Big time power attack. Damn, that hits hard. Okay, that hits really hard. That hits really, really hard. I'm not, I'm not out of, I'm not out of healing potions, am I? Holy Christ, that was close. That was way too close. I r I'm out. I used all my healing potions. Uh, shit. That's pretty bad. I mean, surely I can get through Bleak Fall, but Falls Barrel, right? Without a healing potion? I can do that. Right? You believe in me, don't you, chat? This has nothing to do with the farmers. Okay, the farmers don't hold any weight at all in this entire run. None. And I swear to God, if I lose this run and I have to play through Bleak Falls Barrel one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. I can do this. Just gotta keep my distance. Play is smart. One target at a time. Wow. Wow. Wow.
Okay. And now I'm in some trouble. Let me eat some bone meal. Think about it. Peckish. 30% less effective using shields. Yeah, attacks are slower. Where's my vegetable soup? 720 seconds. How many minutes is that? Quite a few. That's quite a few minutes. 720 seconds? That's also a lot of seconds. It's less minutes. I probably should have waited, but I'm taking the vegetable soup. Tier 2 Draugr right here. Okay, vegetable soup is overpowered. What a kill cam. <laughs> what a death. I'm not taking any chances, boys. That's on you. I gotta make sure they die. Okay, all right, they are dying. I just have to make sure that it happens. What is up with my kill cams today? They're going crazy. They're all bonkers. I can't believe I let myself run out of healing potions. How did I not see that coming? I mean, I got a ridiculous amount of stamina. I feel like I keep saying stamina wrong. Stamina. Like, I feel like I'm saying stanima. You know how some kids say aminals? Again, what is up? What is going on? Figure it out, okay? You guys still have a part to play. I need funny ragdolls. Not this glitchy nonsense. Let's figure it out. Let's get back on track. Two more. Step in the fire, please. Thank you. The problem with Draugr is I can never time it right. I can't get them to stumble like I do the bandits. They're able to swing through a lot of power attacks. So we have to just take that into account as we keep encountering them. There's one really tough Draugr on our way to the final fight. Man, I, I don't know how this is going to go without healing potions. This is stressful. Basic Draugr. See, we get a stumble there. And that worked out fine. I feel like if I hit them just before they start their attack, they are not going to stumble. So they can stumble if they're not in an active attack, but as soon as they start attacking, they won't. We'll have to see, but fingers crossed I don't fuck this up. Yeah, I'll take, a, I'll take a little break after we get out of this dungeon. Oh, God, I hope. I mean, we've played everything almost perfectly. But one mistake. This is how these runs get me. <clears throat> so, what I'm thinking, at least for the final fight... I could just dual wield flames. I have enough magic potions to push me through that fight using only magic. See, like, bam, he started his attack. So we have to, there goes the attack, he'll hit me. But then if I get my attack and I can stumble him. Even still, that's a good amount of damage for just a basic Draugr. That I don't like. chest down here I think usually this chest has fuck all but let's see yep two gold 
I'll take the XP though, get us closer to taking that heavy armor perk. Also, big mistake not taking the heavy armor perk before jumping in here. I can't believe I'm stressing out. I'm in Bleak Falls Barrow. This is like the introductory dungeon for RPGs in general. This is baby's first dungeon and I'm struggling. Oh my God, I'm stuck. I got too cute. Two-handed demon, fuck off, two-handed demon, away with you. He follows in though, yeah, he follows through that door, so he's gonna chase us. I can sprint through this trap, right? This trap's not gonna kill me. It'll hurt me. Come on, come on, follow in. Follow away, thank you. Got him. All right, so he's down. Drop an urn on your head later. Level up. No one behind me. There's a few potions in here we can snag. No, uh, resist cold, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Because that last Draugr we fight might be using frost damage. I know a lot of Draugrs use frost. So good to just keep one of those in the pocket if we can. Bear Grylls, kill cam machine. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better. Made it to the last fight. 222 is the password, in case you didn't know, for the uninitiated. Not gonna lie, I'm nervous. Sprint, magic, scary bat jump scare, nice try. Not falling for it. Ooh. Ooh. Whatever. Why am I so scared? I mean, I'm scared for good reason. Good start. Decent start. Almost halfway. <laughs> he doesn't know how to react to solid objects. That's right. You thought I was just gonna be a flush bag that would stand here and take hits. Oh, oh rain to the chest. Not good. Very poor. Honestly, you might be weaker than the restless. What was that showing? That was embarrassing. Any scrolls of fireball? I kind of made the uh, on the fly call not to use scrolls. Uh, for the main fact that one of the more compelling parts of this run, since you can't use vendors, is the inability to buy spells. So the only spells you can learn are spells that you can find and read the book for. And scrolls kind of circumvent that a little bit. Not a ton. Scrolls are still mostly fair play. I don't think it's egregious if I were to use scrolls and allow them for play. Filled soul gem. Not bad. Could at least get a small enchantment on my weapon. Two other chests. What other chests? Are there other chests in here? I must have missed them. There's not two other chests in that room, are there? What? 
Are you guys yanking my chain? Well, I can't go back there now because it would be cheating. No. Whoa. Oh my God, you're not yanking my chain. You're not pulling my taffy. You're not stretching my hamstring. I thought you guys were really tearing my Achilles there. That's wild. I never knew that. See, that's why I love this shit, right? It's like, I've played a lot of Skyrim, of course. I've played a lot of just Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, Morrowind, Fallout, and all that throughout my life. Um, but not enough to the point where I know everything. Um, I obviously, I know a lot of things, but having chat, Corundum, again, it's fallen out of our ass. I don't know what to do with all this ore. I'm shitting ore. When I sleep at night, I dream of ore. When I sit on the toilet, flakes of gold fall out of my butt cheeks. The reason my piss is constantly yellow isn't because I'm dehydrated. It's because it's half gold, liquid gold. But I love learning things from chat. See a urologist, <laughs> King Midas. Maybe I'm King Midas, or I have a urinary tract infection. One of the two. These are stamina, torch bugs. I don't need stamina though. What if I died right there to those wolves? Freeze, hold it, hold that pose. Nice, excellent. That's exactly what we're looking for. See, that kind of spunk is exactly what we're looking for at dead wolves modeling. At taxidermy, at, at, here at sexy taxidermy, that's the kind of spunk we want. About to shit myself. About to shit my pants. I am waiting for a good death. Flawless emerald nearby. Where? What's this about sexy wolf spunk? Ah, uh, well. Oh, whoa, uh, whoa, uh, uh, not like that. Um, spunkiness. Not the other kind. Grow up. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Lawless Emerald, somewhere in here. Cliff Cutter. Good luck. Cliff Edge, east of Cabin. You're watching with your grandpa? Cliff edge east of cabin. Okay, so there's the cabin. That way is east. Moving on. Take it. It's not quite the flawless emerald I was looking for. chest in the fallen trunk oh maybe that's why the chest we were looking for earlier didn't spawn because i didn't have the treasure map in my inventory
this the one y'all are talking about Bulgarian good to see you how have you been thanks for stopping by again I'm not too worried about it I want to keep the momentum we have going I don't want to spend a bunch of time just looking for one diamond sure it'd be a nice little XP bump but at the end of the day I think I can make enough iron daggers to make up for that difference When I get back, I'm going to take a short break here. When I get back, we're going to level up. We'll finish out this quest. We'll kill the dragon. We'll get Foos. We'll come back here and get Salmon Row. Experiment, experiment with Salmon Row. See what it does for our alchemy. And then we're probably going to be ready to start heading east. I want to hit that Corundum Mine. I want to find the Orc Stronghold. But I'm going to take a short break here and run to the bathroom. Um, I don't know what to do while I'm gone for a few minutes. Oh, I have an idea. I know what we can watch. God, this is so fucking terrible. We're not watching the whole thing. As they take their last Wait. breath. I meant to pause the speedrun timer. Okay, this is my first ever YouTube video in all of its shitty glory. It's really bad. I, I regret making this. everybody to a console club reviews where i somebody who has absolutely no business telling you how to think about a game tries to tell you how to think about a game if you're not playing fall guys right now you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic masterpiece in gaming history forget about last of us 2 forget about red dead redemption 2 these aren't nearly as emotional as Fall Guys is. Check out this quote by a senior designer over at Devolver Digital. They were quoted in a Games Radar article recently. Fall Guys exist in this world to compete, and they're full of enthusiasm and quest for glory. But they pop into existence, they compete, and then they disappear forever. What's a darker fate than your existence not mattering at all? Someone help me here, because I can't think of it. Fall Guys is just that, though. The games don't matter. The outcomes don't matter, really. It's all about just enjoying your little jelly beans time in the match before they cease to exist forever. The poor little jellies only exist to serve as entertainment to us. Fall Guys is it's really as bad. sad as the Roman it's Coliseum. It's really fucking bad. A bunch of no-names thrown into the fray like it's for really, millions it's, to tear <laughs> it as they sucks. take their last breath. It sounds dark and twisted, and it is. But oh boy is Fall Guys a crap ton of fun. 
No, I blew it again! I blew it again! It's also really hard and will probably drive you insane and make you make stupid faces just like this. If you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are either way out of the loop or you have an Xbox. Sorry, Xbox bros. I love you guys, but you're missing out on this one. Fall Guys is dumb. It's goofy. It's beautiful. If you're unclear on what Fall Guys is, here's a brief summary. You're a jelly bean. You go through game show slash Mario Party style obstacle courses with portions of the players in the match being eliminated each round a la Battle Royale. Last man standing wins. Admittedly, I've never actually won a match of Fall Guys yet, but I'd imagine it feels something like this. You pulled this off the fastest! Congratulations! You are the Fear Factor champion of champions! And evidently fear is not a factor for you. Congratulations! There are no guns, there are no meta builds, it's just run, jump, dive, and grab. It doesn't require sweaty MLG level play to win in Fall Guys, it takes grit. This is a gritty game. Only the grittiest of champions can come out on top in Fall Guys. I think the best part about this game so far is that it finally for the first time feels like somebody was able to out Nintendo Nintendo. And that doesn't really happen that often. When you think about Nintendo, or when most people think about Nintendo, the words that come to their mind are fun, silly, goofy, cartoony, not too serious, couch co-op, that kind of stuff. Party games, you know, Smash, and Mario Party, Mario Kart, etc. Fall Guys has done all of those things, but added along with it that stress of a battle royale and that sort of... It's hard to describe that intense, like, I gotta win this game or I gotta survive until the end. It's just, it just added something that Nintendo games have never had. And Fall Guys definitely stands out in the crowd today because it really seems like every game is just trying to constantly outbro the last game that came out. Every mainstream AAA game that comes out these days has these insanely macho main characters. Everyone's grisly, they have a dark backstory. Fall Guys goes in the completely opposite direction. They're soft, they're plushy, little cute jelly beans in an all-out last man standing test of balance, speed, grit, as I said before, grit, and determination. Now, I don't like doing this, but let's talk about some fears that I do have with this game and some things that I think are gonna need to be, you know, looked into as, as the lifespan of Fall Guys, you know, goes into the future obviously every game nowadays it's it's sort of looked at as you know live service how long is it going to go on every time somebody gets a new game it's sort of in the back of their mind you know how long am i going to be able to play this for because that means a lot to people now unless it's you know a single player story mode you know like uh jedi fallen order that was just you play it once and then you're done and it was great and you move on to the next one so this game has I think it's 15 mini games. I haven't played them all. I think that's the number. I could be wrong. And I can see after, you know, a week or two. If this is, if first off, if Fall Guys is the only game you're playing, I think you're making a big mistake. But if this is the only um, game you're playing for, you know, two weeks straight, three weeks straight, I can see the 15 game modes really quickly getting old. So they have an opportunity now. Devolver Digital, they have an opportunity now to turn Fall Guys into this constantly evolving party game. It's going to be on Xbox eventually. It's going to be on the Switch eventually. Once it hits Nintendo Switch, who knows what's going to happen? This could be the biggest game in the freaking world. If they play their cards right, I think it could be huge, but I also could see it, you know, if they're really slow with bringing in new game modes and new mechanics and making it more interesting. I can see it start to lose a lot of that luster. Most games start off when they have social media hype and they have a lot of big streamers playing it. Most games will start off with that instant. I'm not gonna lie, my hair looks yeah. great in that video though. Right, right off. And and Fall Guys looks pretty good. Absolutely had that same trajectory that games like Fortnite and Apex and PUBG did right when they were starting and everyone was jumping into it. But how long can Fall Guys keep going? With what they current with what they currently have, I don't know how long Fall Guys could go. So that's why yeah. I suggest to people jump in you know now while about it's hot. Takes while the didn't age well. Having fun with it, but I really think if they can 
shore Give me up one sec. and get content out there. It's a game that it's built for cosmetics. The character models are great. You can throw a ton of Damn goofy it. stuff on your character. They can monetize with season passes really well. I, I just have a fear that they might not be able to get as many game modes and mechanics in there in a good rate to keep the game feeling fresh. If they can do that, Fall Guys is here to stay. That's really all I have to say about Fall Guys though in its current state. I've had a really good time with it so far. I think that anybody who jumps into it is gonna have a good time. I really am comfortable saying I think anybody can enjoy this game. When I do reviews, I wanna let you guys know who I think would enjoy a game, who I think might not enjoy a game, and then give a little bit of my personal opinion in there as well. Uh, disclaimer, one sec. I'm admittedly an extremely casual gamer. I'm gonna lose my mind. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I look at most games positively, and I've enjoyed some games that the majority of gamers hate. I'm just trying to give my opinion from the perspective of a casual gamer. That being said, if you play Fall Guys and you have a bad time, I... I don't know, man. Maybe video games just aren't your thing. I hope I was able to make it clear throughout the entire review that I really do love this game, and I hope that the future is bright for it. All that being said, that brings me to my final verdict for Fall Guys. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna give Fall Guys a console pleb score of five out of five. This is a perfect game for any console casual, any casual gamer to just pick up and play. When it's on Xbox, play it day one. Okay. When it's on Nintendo Switch. Oh man, we almost went through the whole one. video. You're gonna have a good okay, time, cool. guaranteed. Now that my thoughts are out of the way, I wanna hear what you got. There's not a whole lot left in there. Well, that was my first ever YouTube video that I released in September of 2020. Never show us this again, please. Yeah, I don't blame you. It was pretty bad. It's a pretty hard watch, but on the bright side, I think it's a testament to how content creation is a learning thing. You got to learn how to, you know, do things and it's, very scary to get on a camera and make a video and, uh, you know, it sucks. Like, learning how to do it sucks, right? Like, I have a ton of fun now, and I love it now. Um, but, yeah, it was pretty bad. No, no, no. Stream is not ending. I'm just taking, I had to take a little bit of a break. This is a uh, nitro cold brew. It's a Starbucks nitro cold brew from my local gas station. You want Juvenalia gaming back? <clears throat> not Casey's quick trip. Quick trip is my first one. Hold on one sec. I got to clear my throat. I got a bunch of gross shit going on. Now I get to hang out with James Corden a couple times a week. Right, James? Don't we love it here? We have so much fun together. So many fun times. I mean, I look back on videos from, <clears throat> you know, eight months ago and cringe a little bit. You know, so two and a half years... I definitely cringe. Uh, when was somebody asked when the last time I played Fall Guys was? Probably a month, maybe two weeks after that video came out. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, but no, we're not. Uh, we're not ending stream. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm just. I'm having a coffee right now. I look back on things I did yesterday and cringe. Oh yeah, same. What do you think about doing more of the Slaughterfish Challenge? Um, in terms of older videos on the challenge, 
or older in terms of older videos on the channel slaughterfish is one that has always stuck out as i really want to revisit it You were part of the era where every 10 year old was trying to be a Minecraft YouTuber. How long do you think the stream's going to go? Um, oh my gosh, have we been live for four hours? Because I was planning on at least another two or three. When are you going back to doing non cringe content like your first vid? <laughs> No, I will always be cringe. Embrace the cringe. Embrace it. What about chicken born? Chicken born is a bit tough because I think it could be fun and DDM has remodified the chicken race so that the chicken does have the ability to dragon shout and it does when he dragon shouts so chicken and chickenborn has the uh iron helmet if you remember those videos um i think the i think the chicken well the see the thing is with the chicken i came out with the first chicken video and at the time that was the best video i'd ever put on my channel easily by far i still think that the first chicken video is better than the white run video um, but then in me it was about a week after that was when the White Run video came out, and of course, you know, the way YouTube works is oh, I can totally do this again, and I can do it way bigger and way better than White Run. <laughs> and so, you know, the chicken kind of went by the wayside as the region locked videos became much more cinematic and much more in depth with heavier themes. Um, and they just took a lot more time and I was I was still working full time Then Ember welcome this is your first time here we're taking a little bit of a break More game more hot gaming takes I don't have too many hot gaming takes Right but For the most part I'm pretty easy to please I'm not super harsh on that many games Could I get a link to the chicken mod um it would all it would be is uh you could download the there's a playable animal races mod and it has every beast race in skyrim you can play as just by casting a spell the first person you've seen make the style of video so in terms of in terms of using the characters in game as a narrator that was mostly inspired by kev do it if you've ever seen kev do it's older um if you've ever seen kev do it's older elder scrolls online videos he used a lot of the emotes in game to animate his character and to make his character in game look like the narrator um and those videos have always stuck with me for a really long time because I started playing Elder Scrolls Online a lot the summer of my first actual hard breakup. And those videos, I would watch them at work just to sort of get through that because I was, you know, it was just something I'd never really gone through before and I, you know, wasn't handling it very well. Um, there was a very one-sided breakup, uh, and those videos have always been like, like they've always just kind of stuck with me. Um, and, uh, so there's like that, there was that inspiration for having the characters in game be a narrator in a way, which I still do still a goal of mine. I really want to learn how to animate and I need to get off my fucking ass and learn how to do it. I want to learn how to make my own animations in the creation engine because I want to build my own uh, narration. Um, but another big one is Russian Badger. Russian Badger uses motion capture to do the same thing, but at like way higher 
production value like way higher if you've ever seen a russian badger video it's crazy the stuff that he does um that's up there obviously doug doug is an inspiration in terms of you know playing these games in really stupid ways and i i don't think he does it as much anymore but some of his older uh videos from two or three years ago were told in the second person you want to do this and then you will do that and i really like that version of telling a story russian badger does it a little bit as well and in, in, like i, I want to say russian badger's new vegas video which I think is the best New Vegas video ever made. Um, it's crazy. If you've never seen Russian Badger's New Vegas video, it's odd. It's it's wild. Um, Yimfa. When I did the chicken video, Yimfa was a big inspiration uh, because of how he used music. And when I started watching Yimfa's videos, I realized, oh my god video game music and then music started becoming a really big part of putting them all together and then you know after that i kind of just started doing my own thing i guess call me kevin's always been a pretty big inspiration too <clears throat> mickey d right um mickey d an inspiration just in terms of being a friend and rooting for me while doing this while his channel was also starting to become, you know, a career for him. Which was really special. Like, that just meant a lot. Uh, if you... If you go back to the GTA roleplay series on my channel... You can definitely see the Call Me Kevin influence in that one for sure. 100%. Absolutely. Did you miss the entire stream? No, we're, we're going to keep going for a while. What do I think about ESO? I just saw in my YouTube recommended today. It was on the front page of my YouTube. And uh, Josh Drive Hayes had a... Um, there was a clip from one of his streams and I echo his sentiment a lot. I love the world of Elder Scrolls Online. I love the lore of Elder Scrolls Online. I love the quests of Elder Scrolls Online. I love the crafting of Elder Scrolls Online. I love everything about Elder Scrolls Online. I just don't like playing Elder Scrolls Online. That's exactly what he said and I pretty much agree 100% with it. What I don't really like about it is, and he makes this point as well, is that it's very flat. I think there's good, they did a good job with the one Tamriel update that they did a long time ago, kind of keeping most players on an even playing field so that you can play in any zone, you can play any content, you can do anything you want, you can go anywhere you want. But at the same time, it never really feels like you're getting that much powerful. And all the enemies that you face when you're playing the game and you're engaging in the game's combat feel the same they all have the same move sets they all have the same counters they all have the same this this and that we're like when we play skyrim and we're going through skyrim right we just went through bleak falls barrel a basic ass dungeon but we're still taking things into account like draugers are weaker to fire or uh draugers don't actually stumble if we hit them with a power attack we cannot interrupt their attacks we have to think about those things and those are fun things to think about and try to react to and solve or, as we've been doing this challenge, we start thinking of things like, hey, there's a two-handed bandit coming through. We got to make sure not to let him get the drop on us because he can initiate the kill cam. And trying to circumvent that and work around that is fun. I have a lot of fun doing that. I really like that. But Elder Scrolls Online, all of the enemies you face are really similar. But everything else about the game outside of that is ace. I, I really like all of that. Um, what I think they should do for ESO, honestly, and, it, and it's too far along to do this, but I think the game needs a soft relaunch and a complete rework of the combat. Because the world itself is awesome. 
it's awesome it's really cool i played through the majority of the uh leowin expansion when they added that portion of the map almost did every single thing on the map clearing it off and really enjoyed it for the most part and really enjoyed the lore and thought it was cool i think it's an awesome way to expand on an awesome universe but just the actual like gameplay of it is a bit yeah okay let's get back into the challenge i'm good with the break if you're on the vod channel and maybe you skipped forward a little bit i'm gonna put a chapter point here and if i didn't put it exactly here like the video because i'll probably get it wrong <clears throat> I just realized I left my recording going that entire time. You hate how much lore they shoved into the game that you have to watch a YouTube video about since you don't like the game? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get that. Are, are you someone who would prefer if it was delivered in like a book? I could see that being pretty cool. But that's a that's not bad. I mean, if there's a, a lore YouTuber who covered it and delivered it in a pretty good, you know, story, that could be pretty fun. But yeah, I like. Um, I think collecting things is fun too. I like how each region kind of has its own armor set. So as you go through that region, you unlock new styles and you can change how you look a lot. Uh, what was our plan? We paused here. We're going to move up to Whiterun. When we land in Whiterun, we're going to get our dragon shout, take out the dragon. Uh, definitely have to get more healing potions. We got to focus on healing potions. How do I unpause i hope i hit the right button here yes all right we're back let's do it well and in terms of like the lore when when you think about franchises like um like elder scrolls and like fallout when you have one game trying to do like one thing or, or even like Star Wars for that example, when you're trying to tell like one small story, sometimes you make big swings at the lore in a smaller story, if that makes any sense. Whereas in ESO, everything is like super, super spread out and they're not taking super big risks, I guess. No, maybe I'm wording this weird. I don't really know. I'm not well versed on it. Back to the challenge at hand. We're gonna get up into town. I'm all jazzed because I just had a coffee. Who are you fighting? What is happening? Oh, hell yeah. Let's clean up the crime on these streets. Oh, sorry. Oh, great. Now they both hate me. I'm trying to help you out. Oh, you hate vampires and orcs. Okay, well, you can die too. Huh. She had the exact potions I want. That was worth it. That was a valuable murder. Have ever played Bioshock? I actually have only played... I played Bioshock Infinite when I was about 16 or 17. Really, really enjoyed it. I unfortunately haven't gone back to play the originals. Of course, I've only ever heard good things, um, but I loved it. And I know somebody is immediately going to pop in a chat and say, you played, you didn't play the originals and you played Infinite. It's the worst one. Hey, I thought it was fucking tight. I thought it was. I think I beat it in like two days because I just wanted to see how the story ended. And then at the time when I realized that the uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, that the player and Comstock were the same person, but in different timelines, I was like, Pfft. I was mind blown.
You know what game I want to play is the original Deus Ex. Only because I've seen so many of uh, JC Denton's lines used in memes. And his voice is hilarious. What about Ambrosia? Or whatever he says. I don't know, a bunch of those prank calls with him are really funny. Okay. That's the one he always, okay. Bitch. Like, <laughs> it's a uh, ice and jam. Deus Ex Revision mod. Bioshock 1, perfect, no notes. Take pity, lady, and spare me a few symptoms. You look worse than I feel. I I'm sorry. I'm not giving you shit now. I was gonna give you, I was gonna give you a coin. I was gonna toss a coin to my Witcher. Who's, who does that? Who does that? Wait, I know you. Oh my God, everyone in town. What time is it? It's 2 a.m. Who does that? Hey lady, can I please have a coin, ma'am? Oh, but you look hideous. Oh. Ma'am, please. Me children are starved. Wait a minute. <laughs> is that a unibrow? <laughs> Gross. Get away from me. Oh, hideous, and you smell, too. I don't think I'm sick. What's wrong with me? Oh, oh my God, I did get rock joint. When did I get rock joint? Potion of cure disease. Right there. That's right. I remixed it while I said it live. I enjoy this work. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Let's go! We got through Bleak Falls and we don't have to pay for rent. This is like those challenges on YouTube where they get a refund on Steam. Where they beat the game and then get a refund. Quit talking about Anthony Davis while he's not here to defend himself. I understand that joke. I'm well versed in sports. I'm going health. I said I was gonna go health, right? Boom. We get 10 points of health, and we take that first heavy armor perk. That's a pretty big increase to our survivability right there. <clears throat> it's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. Olfina, I feel you. I feel you. We gotta stay strong, Olfina. We gotta stay strong. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. Walk away, Braith. Walk away or you will end up with a new brother in a wizard's tower in the middle of the swamp. I really don't have... You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Your heart's content. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm wasting my restore health ingredients for XP. Hoping that eventually it's worth the uh, XP that I'm getting. Paralysis poison? I'm holding on to that. I'm going to favorite it. Oh, or, or I'm just going to drop it. If there's anything Shannon, we are still alive. We took a little bit of a break, though. Thank you, kind sir. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. This is it. This is our invitation to own property. Although, unfortunately, I'm about four grand short of the initial investment that I need. A little bit under 4,000. 3,970 gold left until our investment. Let's go get the Dragonstone back to its rightful owners. Let's get our first Dragon Shout. I gotta be careful though in the Dragon fight. 
if he hits me, he can do some decent damage. So, we just have to take a note and be careful. I only have two healing potions left. But before we start heading east, we're going to focus on getting ourselves some of those uh, monarch butterflies. Make some healing potions. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. I don't care. Well, that explains why the guards let Who's you in. This, then? Come on, so then. You the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. But it's none of my... Apologies, everybody. We've been through this dialogue a ton recently. Let's talk to him. Anything you need from me? Of course. It's all in this note. What if... Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Th this is the... Yeah, that's the assassination plot attempt. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate... Danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath. Trapping Nazim and a soul gem and dumping his soul gem? No. <laughs> not right now. We'll yeah. leave Nazim alone for now. We should not... I'll not stand idly this is technically third attempt, Yakum. Also, Kremitz, thank you very much for the Hearing. prime. Send a detachment to I missed that while I was imitating the, uh... Yes, my what's it called? If you the courier. Me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. Here. There is another thing you got. Let's go find Far. Gar. My Hold on. He's been I'm gonna keep that. Actually, I'll keep the ring because the ring is worth more. These dragons and rumors of dragons. Because we'll get the Axe of Whiterun here soon, disenchant it, and then I'll probably just enchant the Steel Sword that I have. It won't be a heavy enchantment or anything, I just have a petty soul gem. I think but it's a start. <clears throat> Planning on doing any bounties for the gold? Yes, but I think we'll focus on getting to Nordic Carved Armor. After we get Nordic Carved Armor, that's when I think we'll shift focus towards the gold for the house and moving back towards Falkreath. Kids, 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 settle down, or I'll light you both on fire. No, shut up. I can play with fire like that. Yeah? Well, why don't you roll around in it for a bit, see how it feels. Sorry, Farangar. Apologies for the interruption. you can be of use to me. Oh, yes, he must be. Yeah. Well, when I say straight to the... I, uh, go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find... Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak. You'll have to see. All right, let's let him run upstairs and get the next cutscene started. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting! Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon just Wouldn't it be funny if this game had like Minecraft's physics? Or if you just set one block of wood on fire, everything would be engulfed. Let's go. The implication that all wood is fire resistant in this universe is actually pretty funny. Oh, tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. It was coming from the south. It was false. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. I didn't really know, I didn't really know you could do that. Mark your map with all those forts. the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Here, let You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already I don't remember if we get an enchantment here. I think we do. Good. I know we do after with the axe of White Run. There's no time to stand on ceremony. I want you, you, sir. But I haven't. 
as a token and plea. There's no time to stand on ceremony. Oh, that's right. It's the same one we got before. It's two-handed damage. That's all right. All right, we'll take this weak-ass reward. Disenchant. Take the XP. And then we'll enchant... I did make the silver ruby ring. Yeah, plenty of XP. No point in keeping it, though. All right, Irileth, let's go kill a dragon. I'm not going to be a lot of help in this fight, but I'll try my best. No, I won't. I won't do two-handed. I do like two-handed because it is fun going for a build that is like pure DPS, hardly any defense. <clears throat> Building into a stamina health build with two-handed, I, I think it's quite fun. Limits your ability to cast spells only by slowing you down a bit. But I still like two-handed. The, the damage output from two-handed weapons is crazy, too. Nope. Sorry. Is this on legendary? No, we are on... Um, we're on expert. Here's the situation. Wait, I know you. Nope. Sorry. Toilet reveal? Never. You heard right. I said a dragon. Well, I think two-handed has the coolest kill cams as well. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking one. Run. Nope. But how so? I don't know why I did that. Thank you, kind sir. All right, I am a little bit wary about this battle. Jane Ku, thank you for four months. I appreciate that. How are you? How you doing? After three and a half hours, we are about to be right where we were when John Bernthal 2 died. Or not too far away. Unarmed does have some awesome kill cams. It's so hard. You know what we could do? Maybe the wheat at the farms has respawned. We might be able to loot up the farms again, and we can still keep getting alchemy XP. No signs of any dragon right now. Oh, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Alright, troops. Head out for battle. I'm gonna head inside, check on the survivors, and hide. Because I really don't want to die here. I would fall, man. That would be so demoralizing. I like to keep the stakes high and have fun with it, but... Scary. Very scary. Oh, hold on. Come on. Come on. High or low? High or low? I'm very high up, so... Okay. I should probably... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna take cover. Maybe I can shoot the deer from in here. You guys worry about the dragon. I'm going hunting. Ooh, hang on. I'm safe up here. I like this. Haha. <laughs> Easy. Surviving in this world is very simple. You just have to have the high ground. Maybe stand by a nice warm fire. Oh, that was a hit. Okay, the deer is still out there. Let's see if we can get him. 
Come on. Thank you, kind sir. Lover of Vitos. Finally, I'm able to watch your stream live. Good hunting. Boss Dog, thank you for the tier one. For five months, almost at half a year. And Votenzo, thank you for watching the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much for the prime. Is this just an excuse for me to do trick shots? I don't hit my trick shots, that's the thing. Slay it. Slay the dragon. I'm running out of arrows. I gotta stop dicking around. Okay, all the guards down there are dead. Jesus. When they start swinging their head around while the flames are coming out, it's like... Oh no, he's turning towards me. Looks like he's mostly focused on Iraleth. Let's just let her, Iraleth, you got this? You okay? Yeah, she seems to be doing all right. I mean, she understands AI pathing well. Iraleth is the real hero here. I shouldn't be getting that much credit. Don't hurt me, I'm scared. You can't miss me. Don't give me that look. Hey, ow. I thought we were friendly. That was a really friendly look. Looked at me like a little puppy. I thought it was kind of adorable. You're already dead. <sighs> wow. Okay. I actually thought I was gonna blow it there. I'm just gonna nice and kindly hit him with a little bit of taser action. Okay, now he's dead. Now he's dead. Let's make sure that overgrown lizard is really dead. Damn good. Good work, everybody. Not gonna take the bones or the scales. Shooting boys. All right, see you guys. I'm going home. Valiant effort. Everybody fought so bravely. I'm so proud of everybody. Now, let's just make sure we don't leave any valuables behind. Okay, four gold. Beautiful. Nice. We love to profit. Yes. Not quite profit, but that's enough gold to keep us by. Every, every penny counts. Dump them by the forge. You might get lucky. I guess that kind of works. It's not technically a bank. It's just dropping them. I'll leave them for now, though. We'll kill more dragons, right? Also, my goal isn't to build dragon armor. That would be fun. And if this run is successful and we accomplish our goal, we can totally keep this save and do future streams with this character until they die. That's kind of my goal. Because, like, I mean, for me, streaming this game wouldn't be as fun if there was no stakes. Or if we weren't doing anything that cool. Oh. I kind of like how she sounds with the shout. Ho! 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 One mil hair reveal? Nah. I'm keeping this hat on. I actually cover up my real hair with this. It's snapped on like a Lego piece. I'll probably tell y'all my name at one million. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'll string y'all along, keep you guessing. 
only to reveal something goofy. Address the allegations? Skyrim is actually my middle name, funnily enough. Steel. Yes, we do need steel. We need to save up steel ingots. But I don't want to I don't want to make too many. Well, I'm going to be holding the corundum regardless. We need steel ingots for Nordic carved. We also need quicksilver. Oh my gosh, I'm out of ore. I ran out. This is a disaster. I rip off my hyper realistic max. Yes, and I reveal. I, I actually changed my appearance in the creation kit. That's why I've never shown you all my hands. I'm AI generated. The hands didn't come out properly. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the law. I mean, if you think about it, Todd is not an uncommon first name. Howard, not that uncommon of a last name. I mean, I guess they're, you know, as common as names can be. So what happened at the Watchtower? I knew I could count on Irith. Dragonborn. So it's true. Dragonborn, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The Greybeard's way of the voice, voice the horn of Earl Weber Jaegerman Jensen. What else could it mean? The Grey... You've done it by my right. Now give me the axe. I'll also we are honored to have you as Yeah, don't care. Uh, I have more pressing matters to attend to. I need to build myself some property. Although I can't really do that yet. We're a ways off from that. Most importantly, oh, hi Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. It's an honor to meet you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm leaving and I will never see you again. Goodbye, Lydia. Mm -hmm. See? Lydia doesn't even care. You know someone in real life named Dawn Star? Have they ever played Skyrim? Get out of the way, kid. I'm busy. All right, let's go find. Ooh, 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 hold on. No, I only found two butterfly wings. It's not really even more. Forty-eight, eleven. Oh my god. I've been holding forty-eight butterfly wings because I didn't discover what the ingredient does. So I just haven't used it to make health potions. That was gonna be my Achilles' heel. It was gonna ruin the entire run. Give a holler if you have any questions. Jeez, I'm a goofball. Forty three health points. Now up to forty four. If there's anything I can help you with, I've got to OK, combining the two butterfly wings doesn't do anything. I cannot believe that. All this butterfly, yeah, all the butterfly genocide. Oh, shit. Oh, these people want to talk to me. Okay, I must avoid talking to them as best as possible. Introvert playstyle. Oh my god, how many people can I want? Oh, there's so many people I want to ignore. So little time. How do I choose who to avoid? Whew, that was close. We almost had to talk to somebody in public. I still would be more comfortable if we pulled a bunch more 
blue mountain flowers. But I'm not as uncomfortable now exploring east a bit. I'm not comfortable, mind you. Further west we head, we'll start encountering. We'll probably start finding saber cats. We can probably take a saber cat on in a fight. It's not the end of the world. How many days have passed? I feel like we've made really good six days. Not quite a week. Dark Sane, this is your first time here. How are you? Welcome. I feel like people on the VOD channel are going to be surprised to see how long the recent streams have been. Because I haven't uploaded the last two attempts, or the last two streams attempting this challenge. Let me double check real quick the, um, hold on. I'm going to double check the... What's it called? The little list of goals that I put together or the game plan. I want to double check it just real quick. Just to see if I'm missing anything or any ideas that I might have put together. Leak Falls Barrow. Salmon Row. Salmon Row. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, damn. You guys mentioned there's a little lake in Whiterun that we can hit. Ah, uh, see, this is what I hate about uh, these runs sometimes on survival. Is leaving a town and then realize, damn it. I gotta go back and do that thing that I said I was gonna do. But first... Trick shot. That's hitting. That's not hitting. That's hitting. Turned on him. <laughs> Later, I'm becoming all powerful. Energized him into that jump. I really wish to see that. Why don't we get a kill cam there? I forgot to unpause the timer, but that'll make up for some of the loading screens. Yeah, no, not Sam Munro. Salmon Row. R O E. Like row your boat, but with an E instead of a W. The letter known as W, not two U's, even though W looks more like double V if it's capitalized. If it's cursive, it looks like a triple U, no? No, it looks like a W, but it depends if you, okay, never mind, sorry, ignore me. In French, you say double V? Really? Your other favorite streamer went live? Well, I think that's a good problem for you to have. But thank you for considering me as one of them. Unless... Unless I'm third and your first favorite was already live... I need to check my other dad. All right, well, hold on. Let's see. Are there fish in here? Were people lying to me about there being fish in here? And I just got bamboozled? Whoa.
Could be the fish up here. Nope. Right here. Oh, I forgot about this guy down here. How the hell do you guys leave this dead body down here for that long? It's free money. All right, let's see if this works. I've never tried this before. Let's see if they drop salmon row. Oh. That is a carp. That is also a carp that is not a salmon. That's a salmon. Oh, what? I activated it way before. I must have to be standing. There's two dead bodies. No, it's just the same dead body. I thought it was the second one. They keep popping up. Where are they at? Right there. Boom. Hold on. Nordic barnacles. These are really good. Right? Don't Nordic barnacles make a really expensive potion? I just accidentally grabbed a salmon. Shoot him with arrows? Oh. Well, I did the whole quest so I could get the shout. Not to shoot him with arrows. If I hit one on this first arrow and none of the shouts worked, I'm gonna be so upset. can't see him. No, stop grabbing the salmon. Bear. Come on. Figure it out. Whoa. Why are they surviving everything? Okay, well, I can shoot the carp. The salmon are too close to the ground. Whoa. Little bastards. Could be that the water's too deep. These are the wrong salmon. You have to jump at the ones jumping up rapids. <clears throat> Do I have a license to fish here? Oh, don't. Don't worry about that. All right, looks like I was bamboozled. Skyrim and weed are a perfect combo. Yeah, Skyrim is up there. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's up there for like high games. Skyrim, Deep Rock Galactic, unless it's a mining expedition. Then those missions get a little confusing. Skyrim is insane on acid. I I've never tried. Maybe I need stronger shouts in the deeper water, but I, I doubt I'll need it in the river. I've never played Prey. I only ever hear good things about Prey. Is Prey an arcane game? Is that what Arcane made before Deathloop? It is? I thought so. Don't play management slash sim games high. False. Kenshi.
One time I smoked crack and popped three Percocets and then played Skyrim and almost died. I had to go to the hospital. Dude, you respawned. I, if that's true, I hope you, you know, are getting some help and... Okay, so these are the ones we got to shout or do we just have to catch them? Have I been bamboozled this whole time? Look at him go. Oh. No way, I just have to grab him, don't I? I don't even have to shout him, I just gotta grab him? Man, the whole point of this exercise, okay. Oh my gosh. That's all we had to do. They're kind of hard to get. Oh, Jesus. Now, just enough. The rapids, they're hard to fight. Ugh. I'm struggling now. This is the hardest boss fight I've ever encountered. Now I'm going to get really cold. Got him. I thought we were going to go on a salmon killing spree. Now I'm disappointed. Although not really. I'm still glad we have Foos. It'll be useful in combat. It's a free stumble. It's like a power attack that doesn't do any damage. Is that all of them? I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is make good. That is I wasn't even shouting. Now I'm just being accused of things that aren't happening. I did all that in the city. Also, making who nervous? The fish? Jokes on you, officer. Fish aren't real. God, this is the most input intensive Skyrim gameplay I've ever had. Ah, uh, spacebar, S, W, reverse, switch, climb the water again. I mean, I slapped in the face with white caps constantly. Oh my God, this is awful. How am I alive? No sane person could swim up this rapid. Still a lot up here. I can use flames. Oh. Where do they go when they die, though? Like, if I kill them. Are they going to wash all the way down? All right, let's try it. Fishing Simulator 2024. Grill them and kill them. I don't think I got any of them. Okay, I'm going to catch this one right there. Got him. And there's one that's going to land right here. Got him. But this one is jumping right in the middle of the water. Got him. No, I missed. How? This is way more difficult than I thought it would be. Is that one of them? Is he clipping or is that? No, that's geometry. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, how am I missing it? Got him. Got another one. I missed him. Jumped too far back. We just gotta line up the timing. Oh my God, they're coming at me really fast. They're flying at my face. 
I'm just getting slapped on the face left and right by salmon. This is a nightmare. I could barely hold a fish as a kid, and now I'm getting hit in the face repeatedly with them. Oh, I just jumped on one. Got him. All right, we might have gotten them all. Let's just check down river. Oh, there's another one right here. This rapid is too fast. Hold on, this one spawns right... Yeah, got him. I actually just spawn killing salmon now. Let's see if we killed any. No? That was just a regular old salmon? Another one jumping. Alright, I want to catch this one. Got him. That's crazy. They're invincible. Who said you could kill salmon? I want to speak to the manager. <gasps> They're invincible. Each and every one of you is responsible for this lie. Still, we got 13. All right, resource stamina is the main one that it has, but I believe it's also an alternative for health. I can't believe I've been lied to. Let me double check my, um, I want to double check a second document I have. It's not on the, what's it called? It's not on the PowerPoint. I just have this one personally, and I wrote down a few alchemy recipes. Bloom Mountain, Orange Butterfly, we ate, okay, yeah, we got that one. Purple Mountain, Antlers, we know that one. Blue Mountain, Blue Butterfly, Giant's Toe. Yeah, that's for XP. And then I just have Salmon Row marked on here. Nothing else, really. Ink Demon, thank you for the 95 bits. Remind me of my health. Is my Oh, yeah, that's right. My health is down a bit. Peebus, thank you very much for two months. Okay, Salmon Row, Garlic, Nordic Barnacles. I think I have all three of those. Salmon Row, Garlic, Nordic Barnacles. Salmon Row, Garlic, Nordic Barnacles. Garlic. Nordic Barnacles. We've got them. Come on. Time to power level alchemy like we've never power leveled before. And then, once our... Whence our alchemy is high enough, we can make all other potions irrelevant, save all of our weight, clear out the corundum mine. Yes, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. <laughs> you thought you had me. This dumbass challenge really thought it had me. Super potion. I need to get some fire under me, though. I gotta warm up. <laughs> watch me get... Right, watch, like, two bears pop up around the corner and one tap me. Especially because I'm really cold right now. I'm moving slowly. We're warming up. Oh, oh geez. Last thing I need is for my clothes to get wet again. Back in the humble town of Riverwood. All right, let's hit the alchemy table here. 
and make our super special potion. I wonder if Lake Illinalta has Nordic barnacles on the bottom. I would guess it does. We can probably harvest more there. <clears throat> Digital, it's going well. We're about to see how powerful this potion is. Take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Okay. Garlic. Nordic barnacle. Salmon roe. Let's see. Okay. Can can breathe underwater. Oh my god, this is I might actually just use this potion. Can breathe underwater for 419 seconds. Health regenerates 35% faster for 5 minutes. Magicka regenerates 35% faster for 5 minutes. And it just gets better every single time we make it. But that's all we can make. Still, we got about three levels from it. I can still do Salmon Row and Nordic Barnacle, and it's still going to get us a bunch of XP. Yeah, almost an entire level for each of those. So still worth it. Definitely. Plenty of XP from it. Okay, garlic. Garlic is kind of a tough one to find, though. I feel like it's only got a few spots. Oh, nice. Free bed. Hell yeah. Are you using the thief stone? I am not using the thief stone. Let's go. Magic, health, or stam? Probably Stam again. Now nah, let's go health. Where are we at with smithing? Arcane blacksmith. Elven. So Elven is what leads to advanced armors. Not Dwarven, which is weird because Nordic carved is a heavy armor. So just to progress, let's take Elven. Move forward our progression just a tad. I want to scout around Lake Illinolta both for ore. I can only carry 40 more pounds. I'm going to have to drop some of the potions that I have. Let's, let's, yeah, let's clear out some of them. All the water breathing ones will hold on to them. Drop some of these stamina ones that aren't as good. I have a lot of magicka potions that aren't that great. So we'll kill off about five pounds of magicka potions since they're only at 17 magicka. Where these are at, you know, these are in the 30s with how much they'll restore. Get ourselves well fed. Kill myself a deer or I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. Okay, we can't kill that many deer. We'll just keep looking out for blue mountain flowers. Try to play it safe while we're in this area though. Uh, the objective right now, we're looking for iron ore, mostly. I'm going to scout around Lake Illinalta, maybe find more Nordic barnacles or Salmon Row. Got one. Got another one. Still one more in here. Oh, I'm getting good at this. How did I not get him? Come here. Come on, bring it. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. I'm on fire now, baby. I got the rhythm down. You got to slowly move back. 
right? You got to go easy. Motion of the ocean, you know? I guess it's more of a river. But still. You just got to jump backwards with it. Place yourself in position to catch. Or maybe just stand on the rock and the side of the road. But I think motion of the ocean is a cooler strategy. I can't believe I could have done this at the start and I didn't realize it. Although I guess it's a little bit more fun learning as I go rather than always having the perfect answer or something like that. I don't see very many in there. I wonder if Nordic barnacles are at the bottom of the water. Brief scuba trip, no? Animal allegiance causes the salmon to jump at you? The quiver of the river. That's a good one. I wish I came up with it. I might steal that and just use it in the video. You okay with that? <laughs> you cool with me stealing it? Yeah, this is Bear grill style. Look at you, Bear, living up to her ancestors. This is, this is, you, is that an orange dart wing? Damn, I lost him. There you are. It is. Okay, orange dart wing. Oh, 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 orange dart wing. I think that's health. Got to be just a little bit cautious around here. I don't think that this area is as bad. But we should still be careful. What was that noise? Why did I hear the sound of equipping something when I pressed nothing? Oh, I don't like this one bit. There's a spell right there. Okay, let's get our healing on just in case we take a big hit. I'm going to jump down there, grab the book, and go. Oh, it's a book! I thought it was a spell. You guys are bumming me out right now. What'd you do to this guy? Walk away now. Okay, all right. Honest question. Don't really see what the issue is, but fine. I, I'll, I'll leave you to your rituals. I gotta stop letting these wolves get hits on me. How do I have the thing of cold, hot, hungry? Uh, that's survival mode. Survival mode was added as a free update to special edition as a part of the anniversary uh, update. So you don't actually need the anniversary package of content purchased to use it. Quicksilver? Oh, damn, regular silver? I mean, that's okay. It will turn it into jewelry. Frox Reaper, how are you? Two silver? Not bad. Again, it's free XP. It gets us closer to our goal of 50 smithing. Fro 
Heroes, I think we are... We're, I'm not going to say we're winning. We're playing good Skyrim. We're playing good ball. Yeah, if you turn around at the right time and sprint, they won't hit you. You gotta like turn as they start their attack animation and then sprint. They'll always attack and hit the air. <clears throat> Just cause I don't wanna catch rock joint. I feel like I'm getting jumped here. Why do I not like this? I don't like the look of this chest. It's suspicious, it's tiny. It's a cute chest. Cute little chests like that usually mean something bad's here. I think white caps are magic, no? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it's a third or fourth effect. How was your walk? But it's uh it's treating us well. It's not too bad. Oh, person on a horse. This is new. Hello, traveler. How are you? My name is Bear Grills. You've probably seen my show before. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, you're a vendor? Well, I can't talk right, to you. Then. I have no interest in dealing with vendors right now. My objective is far too complicated for you to comprehend. I'm building a house. Oh. Well, a lot of people in Skyrim build houses. It's not too crazy. Oh no. Trust me, the way I'm doing it is way harder. Aren't you an all-powerful reincarnated god or something? It's, it's hard. Okay. All right, Mr. Hunter. Canter along in your horse. Leave me to my objective. Speaking of, let's just go high five this dude out here. He looks chill. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you up? No, don't swim away. Come on, man. For once, can we just be friends? Please don't doggy. Pe don't you dare doggy pedal. Okay, fine, fine. I'll jump on your head and you will. No, you you're going to transport me. Hey, get back here, mister. All right, we got to have Nordic barnacles around here somewhere, right? I got to be careful. Ooh. I might actually need to take a water. Yeah, I'm going to take a water breathing potion for the first time ever. I played this game. I'm really taking a water breathing potion. I don't think I'm going to find too many Nordic barnacles, though. Is the shipwreck in this lake? They, yeah, they're usually attached to the side of a boat. Or like, along the walls of a cave or something like that. Sunken ruin near the river inlet. I bet the dock over here has them as well. You shouldn't have ran away from me. I thought you were going to be cool. But no. <sighs> Just another nice gamer. Abandoned by his elk. Classic. A story as old as time. Look at that combo hit from the mud crab. I'm telling you. They were fed something between Elder Scrolls 4 and 5. Mud crabs got on some kind of diet. Strictly protein. I 
think my water breathing might have expired. Ooh, little chest? Actual underground treasure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's a nightmare. Get away. You stop. He's faster than me. Look at him. Can he fight underwater? Oh, no way. That's not fair. Could you imagine if I lost the entire run to a mud crab? I'd never forgive myself. <laughs> I would actually cry. Crazy how much damage they put out. There's been a lot of people recently, uh, claiming <clears throat> or like, uh, it's not really the right word for it, but accepting the accusation of falling asleep during the streams. But I, whether you're asleep or not, I still, I appreciate it. Even just listening along. Thank you. Okay, now, when one of you said that there were boats on the northern shore, did you mean, like, up here, northern shore? Did you mean, like, this way? Or did you mean, like, the northern shore of the body of water that I'm in currently? Because that would be, like, way more relevant, you know, to what I'm actually doing and much more helpful for me right now in this moment than walking all the way back to White Run. Oh, the northern... Oh, okay, okay. So when I spent the last five minutes like an idiot uh, skimming the bottom of the lake over here, that was all for nothing. Hmm... <clears throat> Chad, why do you do this to me? Why do you mislead and gaslight me? Why must you... Why must you do these things? Hey, look, a boat. Somebody help. Hold on, let me read your book, dude. Okay, that was a good read. What are you running away from? Dog, you're running towards the danger. Never should have come here. Oh, I really wish that mud crab killed him. I really wish the mud crab got him. That would have been amazing. Come on, man. Do it for the content. I need it. I crave it. We're getting a little bit close to Falkreath, but I'm just not ready to take it on. I'm sure it's not going to be that hard. I just kind of want to stick to what we've been doing. Wiki says there's a shipwreck in the lake near the Lady Stone. Does it include Nordic barnacles? Because if it does, I'm there in a heartbeat. But after we find Nordic barnacles, we got to find some garlic. Take on the Spriggans. I would hard pass on Spriggans. Okay, maybe you meant this bridge. The much bigger, sexier bridge. Huh! What? Ebony ingots, 63 gold. I don't know who Joff 10 is. You can now create you can now create new equipment with Daedric Smithing. This must be anniversary edition. It's all right, I won't be going for that perk. 
Potion of healing, minor healing, and quicksilver ingots. Oh my god, we we almost have all we need. We might not even need to go to the ebony mine. <laughs> well, that was lucky. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. No, you approach me. I don't approach you. This is all backwards. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. I don't like the way our relationship is changing right now, Courier. I'm not comfortable with this. You have your role, I have mine. We don't flip-flop. We don't change it up. We don't try out new things. It's the same every time. Am I the career now? Oh wait, somebody mentioned there's a shipwreck by the Lady Stone. We got it. We got to go check that out. Unless you guys are lying to me again and you want to make me look like a fool. Okay, never mind. This might be a shipwreck. Wooden pole sticking out of the water. That looks like a shipwreck. Wow, it is. You weren't lying to me. Okay, chat, I forgive you. For the next five minutes, you're... That's a fox. Dude, you should probably... Yeah, you should probably get out of the water. <gasps> no, not... What are you... Mr. Rabbit, this is not a place for you to be. Uh, here. Uh, uh, take this potion of water breathing, Mr. Rabbit, please. We must get you out of here. It's too dangerous for you down here. No other way. This way. Follow. Follow me. Oh god, he's not taking the potion. Lamb meat. Nordic barnacle. Nice. Exactly what we need. Secret chest. One gold. Wow. <laughs> I can see why you didn't make it out of this ship alive. Come on, let me get at least like three more. Don't give me three and call it a nice. That's what I'm boom. That's what I'm bang. That's what I'm boom. That's what I'm oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Banger. Exactly what we needed. Okay, okay, relax. <laughs> Stop, my heart, my heart. I can't handle more. That's enough. Okay. Oh, now you're just showing off. I need it. I need all of it. And more. I think that's all we're getting, though. More than enough. We should be close to alchemy 50 by the time we do this. Now, we could get the garlic. I don't know how useful garlic is going to... I mean, it's, it's going to be useful. We're going to get more XP for sure if we make them with garlic. Oh, I didn't really know. I didn't know the juvenile mud crabs actually had a little thing going on. You can't kill them. Did you do this? Yes. The juvenile mud crab celebrates his victory over his fallen comrades. Hold on, I'm under attack. Come on, I'm doing a funny. Don't interrupt me. Dick, you ruined the whole moment. Haven't really explored this path yet. I'm sure we can find some ore. What is that? That looks like a thing. It's definitely a thing. Of, uh, it's a thing of stuff. There's something here. Raves? Maybe it's nothing. Ah! Rock joint, you son of a. F That's good damage.
Don't ever scare me like that again. It's not funny. I mean, good joke, I guess. Ha ha. Now I have to go with this gross visual flare all over my screen. Ugh. And I'm hungry. IRL, not in game. I mean, maybe I'm a little peckish in game. I feel like I'm always peckish. I'm going to start saying that from now on. Mom, I'm a bit peckish. Father, have you finished this tonight's supper? I'm peckish. Not sure what region that pretend accent falls in. Maybe it's non-existent. It sounds fancy, though. Much fancier than my nasally Midwestern bullshit. Ma! Where'd your horse go? What did you do to the horse? You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? You're the exact same person I saw earlier. Where is your horse? We... Two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. And he's gonna insult my rock joint, okay? Maybe I'm proud of my rock joint. Ever think of that? Hmm. Rough around the edges. Okay, and some people think that's hot. All right then. Yeah, all right. Move along. You're lucky I'm on my good person arc. Otherwise, I wouldn't even hesitate to. Yeah, right in his neck. Ooh. I want to say I took out all these wolves. Yeah, we are we already been here. This looks like something. Standing rocks. Oh, this is where all the Thalmor were. Okay, they left. We can finally investigate. What were they up to? Stashing away their riches. Classic Thalmor move. Wait, there was a body here. What did they do to it? Where did they take him? more bastards. <gasps> oh, look. This is the guy who ripped us off last time. Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this <sighs> is a good place to play a song. Yep. Well, I'm not getting ripped off today, so talk to you later, Bye. buddy. I hope a giant or a saber cat just starts walking down the road right now and beelines right towards him. I've studied all my years at the Bard's College of Solitude. 25 gold and I'll sing you a song. And then he just stands there awkwardly. No loot, no drums, no flute, no nothing. Acapella. But he doesn't even have range. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. Although, I can't really insult him because now the song is stuck in my head and I just did the exact same thing that he was planning on doing. But probably worse than he does it. All right, we're going to Riverwood. Um, I'm just gonna let all the salmon row rip. Oh no, wait, it's, a, it's not gonna give restore health. I have to have the garlic. If I have the garlic, then it's, well, no, it's health regen. It's not necessarily straight health uh, regeneration. It's like regeneration over time. So I don't know if it's totally worth it to just hold all these ingredients until we get garlic. I'm complete. Oh no, not this guy. Fine, Durak. Hit me with the spiel. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone who's willing to fight against the growing vampire. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Nope. Not interested. 
Unless you guys are paying me in property that I can manually build. It's kind of a crucial component of this. Okay. Beautiful. Quick jump from 30... What did we level up? 10 times? Eight or nine level ups there. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Where is she? Deli! Oh, there you are. Where's that visitor been poking around? I'm the innkeeper. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Oh! You don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. I just had to flex on Delphine real quick that I am, in fact, Dragonborn, and she's not. An and I'm way cooler than she is. We drink to uh, wait, hold on. I can't get caught doing this here because they'll all just try and kill me. So we'll go 90 gold, pay my taxes. Twelve hours sleep. I'd love to do that. You got enough gold. What about his challenge is stopping you from building a Oh, what about this challenge is stopping me from building a house? Um Principle. Mainly the fact that because it is RuneScape inspired, I would like to craft more armor. Probably a good idea to take a damage buff. All right, I'm ready. Oh, you know what I would like to do as well? Is make a, um, a blacksmithing potion. We might save that for the next stream. Because we still haven't even hit 50 blacksmith, but I'd like to make some blacksmithing potions and maybe upgrade my steel set of gear before we make Nordic carved. I need to build and destroy the house over and over for leveling purposes. I actually just started, I mean, it was a long time ago, but in the overall time span of my old school RuneScape account, I just started building a house. And I did think it was kind of funny building and then just breaking down the same item over and over. Yeah, that's Fallout 4. That's shelf spamming in Fallout 4. Last couple things I was doing on my RuneScape account was um, uh, fighting the on Fossil Island. I think that's what it was called. I was fighting those like shell guys just for training. And then before that, I was in Motherload Mine. I was really trying to get to level 70 mining. So I have an ass load of ore just stocked up in my bank account we're playing osrs right now blister wart plus glowing mushroom boost smithing glowing mushroom okay if we want to get glowing mushroom we're gonna have to clear out a dungeon on our way over to the eastern side of the map <clears throat> so let's take a look and try to find ourselves some glowing mushroom stop do I have any disease? I do have rock joint. I gotta pray it away. I should have blister wart. No, I don't. 
Go to Blackreach. The master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. Dervenin is the guy in Solitude, no? We killed her last time. She puts up a good fight. Now she's moonwalking. She's a very multi-talented lady. I can't be hanging around with rock joint for too long. See, I knew I should have gotten those hawk feathers when I actually shot down a hawk. Beautiful shot. Soared through air in slow motion and found its home within its target's chest. In that moment, should have just stuck with it. Should have kept looking. Although the hawks, when they die, are super bouncy. You're not going to do that much, right? Uh, whoa, 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 he's got Ice Spike. Hold on, that's a problem. That's not something I'm prepared for right now. Just in case he gets a little accurate. 20% resist cold. Damn, and he's got these wolves too. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Take it fucking easy. Make sure he's not above us. All right, he doesn't have a shot on us. More wolves behind us. Let's try and save on the potions, though. I don't have too many. There's the ice spike I was waiting for. Okay, this rock joint actually blows. Jesus, dude. Come on, relax. I'm leaving. Getting the hell out of here. Moria? Okay, sweet. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Finally, nature's on my side. It's about time. Nature's been against me this entire trip. This is bad, though. I gotta find a shrine somewhere. Why is he so- why are you just taking it? The elk near Whiterun are so effective at running away from me. That one didn't even try. There's a lot of wolves early on. In this region, there's a ton. Come on. Go, oh, count it, please. I don't have any arrows. Shoot. Uh, I can't win this fight against these bandits, can I? What does rock joint do again? It's really bad. 25% less effective with melee weapon weapons and it progresses to severe. Okay, that's a bandit outlaw. Decent damage. No stumble. No stumble again? What are, we, what are we doing here? All right. Whoa. No damage at all. Barely any. Wasted that. No stumble. I'm getting screwed on my stumbles. Okay, that's all right. At least her skull is empty now. Oh, man, I think we have to fall back to white run again. I don't want to But I think it's necessary Every time I get way too cocky in these runs. I end up blowing it. I can't let that happen no, I'm not letting it happen We got to go back I got to find a shrine get rid of rock joint. I'll pay the hundred gold. Whatever. I don't care We're so close I'll be able to find some stuff on the way back there, train a little bit, whatever. Three garlic on the table in the kitchen by the Jarl. Ooh. It's horrifying to play Skyrim this much. I mean, to be honest, I still play it less than, you know, some people who have 
thousands of hours. I just play it in specific ways so that I can keep enjoying it and making videos about it. Because I love telling stupid stories. This is tough, though. I, I feel like... I mean, I'm still, I'm still, of course, going to make a video on this one. Um, but this challenge has been so much different. I got this thing on the end of my nose that I really want to scratch off. There. Uh, we're like our last video. We did really quick, short and stupid challenges. This one is long and it's a grind. Usually my videos are really fast paced. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it takes me a while to get there. I try my best. Gotcha. 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 Nice try. L. Nerd. Get good. Where'd he go? Did I get him? No. Slippery bastard. Get over here. Cow? Should be led by a giant? I would assume he is. Whatever, let's head back this way. Fingers crossed that the wheat respawns, but it's only been a week, so I doubt it. Yeah. It's only been a week in game. Maybe leave White Run? I mean, we'll, we'll try. We got to get there eventually. I'm just playing it safe. I really don't want to screw this one up. Because if this character dies, you know, past the six, seven, eight hour mark, I'm going to be hard pressed to, you know, restart the challenge entirely while also still trying to get a video out within two weeks. And I really, really, really don't want to tell the story of another failed challenge. Not happening. And now if it's a dumb one like uh, last week where we were carrying the sweet roll up the mountain. Yeah, sure. Like, if I get limited tries for that, it's pretty funny when we get right towards the end of it and lose. Or like Solstheim? No, Solstheim we're not gonna lose. That play style is too good. We got Solstheim all but figured out. Bro, what are you doing here? There's a nip in the air. Durak, we already I already talked to you in Riverwood. What the fuck are you doing in Whiterun? Get out of here. Go home. I want to hang out with you. Kill vampires later. Yeah, we're going to go cure ourselves right now. Or I'll just hit like the We're looking for someone in Whiterun. You guys waited here for several days? Oh, until I join them, he just goes to every city? Well, he's... Well, we already talked to him. So he's just gonna be there. When we get there, he'll spawn in and just walk out of town. Ass man? Someone mentioned there's garlic in the Jarl's Tower, but we don't really need it right now. We're out of uh, Salmon Row. Or maybe we have one more. Okay, rock joint cured. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You'll find tonics, salves, 
lotuses and potions on their shelves. Brown Pretty good. Pretty bad. That potion is only worth five. All right. I like the loadout of potions that we've got right now. Do we level up? No, not yet. We're really close to leveling up. Maybe I can craft something. What do we have in terms of ore? We have Quicksilver ore. So, oh yeah, let's do this. I forgot we just mined silver ore. This is gonna be enough to put us over the hump and level up. Exactly what I was looking for. Now I'm feeling good. Now we can head east. We'll hit the Corunda mine. We'll get a shit ton of steel. Well, I guess not steel ingots. But well, we need the XP anyway. And in RuneScape fashion, we're going to mine all the ore and turn it into whatever we can just so we can grind out the XP. How about shopping? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you Yikes, I'm out 200 gold on this trip, though. What have I paid in rent so far? 200? This is only the third time we've rented it out. That's not that bad. So I'm out, I'm out 300 gold here. 400 if you count Riverwood. 500 if you count paying for the disease to get cured. Magicka health, stamina. I, I like where our stamina is at. And since we have the perk where it costs less, I'm not a huge fan of where our carry weight's at because we have so many potions, but I can probably drop some potions. I'll probably just take health again. Especially since our alchemy is getting up there. We only need to make three potions to fill our health up all the way. So we'll go health. 150 health, 160 stamina. Can I take heavy armor rank two? I will take it. Now I'm feeling good. The guards in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Well met, traveler. Timer is clipped a little on the bottom right. Is it? I can't really see. It's a bit small on my end. One sec. That's actually as good as I can get it. I can't expand the window anymore, sadly. I appreciate you letting me know, though. All right. Yes. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. Blah, 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 blah. They will dance and will sing. I think that's how it goes. Or close enough to it. Moanraker, I think I can do it. What happened to dies from bullshit? No, she lived up to her name. <laughs> she certainly lived up to her name. When's the album dropping? Let me reach out to my old garage band. Get the band back together.
You know, I may look calm, cool, and collected from the chest up, which is all you can see, but I promise you, my feet and my knees are bouncing up and down the entire stream like I'm a double pedal drummer for a heavy metal screamo band or something. It is non-stop down here, baby. Nothing but constant action. Am I seeing this right? Is this really happening right now? On the road from Riften to Whiterun? Something... I'm sorry? Fire Mommy? What are you doing out here? I mean, I guess. You wanna go? Oh my god, I walked into it. Whew. She's quick with it. It's like a fastball. But same concept as people who use arrows. Nothing but a thing. She'll run out of magic in no time. Woo! That's a hard to see move set though. Okay, all right, we're alive, we're alive. That was scary for a second. Ooh, I wanna loot her though. I wanna get frost salts if I can. Or fire salts. We kill two more of them and we can make some exploding arrows. That'll make hunting fun. And <laughs> we'll get some funny kill cams shooting deer with exploding arrows. Have you guys noticed how lightning quick I've gotten though? My holy shit, I'm in danger senses are very quick. Like the split second anything catches me off guard, like bam. Okay, let's think this through, right? The beauty of not being a speed runner really is that I can pause, think, think it through, game plan a little bit, right? Be patient. What killed dies from, uh, she died the same way that John Bernthal 2 died and the way that John Bernthal died a couple of times when we were practicing. Kill cam, two-handed enemy. Completely my fault. Just a lack of awareness. Stunning lack of awareness and commitment. That's what it was. It was a lack of commitment. I wasn't doing my best. I was playing poorly. Okay, now we're on the road. On the road again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. I know those aren't exactly the words, but leave me alone, his cadence is weird. I think I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Feel it, sense it. It's called intuition, look it up. I'm just gonna start drinking these potions that I don't wanna use whenever I find them. Awkward arena to get into a battle in. I don't wanna get myself cornered on the bridge and surrounded. Because if it comes down to it and I have to jump, there's a chance it could just kill me. Is someone there? Enough! 
Oh, man. That would have been so cool. I was trying to pull the bandit's dead body up to block an arrow. That would have actually been some John Wick shit. Bandit chief? No, not a chief. Nice power attack. Now you're compromised. One, two. Oh my god. I oh, that's a chief. That's a power attack. Hold on now. Chill out. Chill the fuck out. Let me make sure I got it on, Foose. One, two, stumble. One, two, stumble. One, two, stumble. One, two. Okay. All right, all right. Her damage wasn't nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. Whoo! Whoo! I see that cheap, though, coming around with an orcish axe, and I start getting worried. I told you all, we're not messing around. Not messing around. No goofballing. No, no, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, shenanigans. No who's he, what's it? No, uh, frivolous activity. No funny business. Did I say that one already? No lollygagging. No yuckity yucks. Exactly. I said lollygagging before I saw that message in chat, by the way. Three, two, three, dodge. Outlaw? Okay, Outlaw does decent damage. Nice try. Oh, so free. One, two. Uh, you know what? I won't use the potion here. Maybe I'll pay for it. Psych. Just kidding. Nice shot, loser. I'm coming to kill you, too. Woo! I'm in good form. Let's go! Sorry if that woke you up. If you were watching this on the VOD channel, you happened to fall asleep and you were still watching by the time I just screamed there. Um, but that was some good Skyrim gameplay. That was, uh, that was pretty good. There one more here? Kill cam usually indicates it's clear. But that's good. Garlic. Hello. Alchemy lab as well. Might as well see what we can cook up while we're out here. Nobody's stealing my sweet roll today. You're goddamn right no one is. Yes, we got the blacksmith's po- Mmm. Yes. Okay, okay, all right, I like this. We're finding things. RNG is kind of helping us out. What was that? That was a mortar and pestle making noise, okay. No, not without Sam and Ro. There's another chest in here though, right? Come on, chat, fingers crossed. Let's get some really good RNG here. Come on. Conjure up something really useful. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I don't need. Well, I mean, I will when I see it, but let's get something good. Come on, give me a good drop. Draught of water breathing. Draught of water breathing. Dwarven sword. Oh, yeah. Why? I should have called it. I knew it was going to be in here. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. That it? That all I had to listen to? Great. You know this is an Iron Man challenge and I can't drop you, right? You just nerfed me. 
Why the hell did I even grab it? I shouldn't have. <laughs> now, see, I feel like it's a cop-out if I don't actually take Meridius Beacon. Is there anybody who doesn't always throw the dead bodies off if they're high up like this? I always do. It's fun to just see where they go. Cabbage soup? Hot cabbage soup. Restore 10 points of health. Warmth is increased by 25 points for five minutes. Restore 200 points of cold. Rest Whoa, hold on, that's, that's really good. And something tells me that I should go for that rather than indulging myself with explosive arrows. Because, I mean, let's say I'm in the middle of a fight and I am getting, you know, absolutely just pelted with cold damage. That could save me. In a pinch, that could save the entire run. So we'll get that. Twenty-two salmon steak. All right, we're good on food. Food we should be good on for the rest of the entire run for sure. Honestly, I might have to drop some. No, it only weighs point one. I'm gonna have to drop potions. Potions are definitely on the chopping block. It's survival cold, not well. Cliff, in uh, yeah, magic cold affects survival cold. You're free to go. Dangerous cave, right? I think that one's pretty dangerous. I mean, they're all dangerous. They're all gonna try and kill me. I see ore. I see ore, I investigate. Gold. You know how this run's gonna end? I'm gonna be mining, just like this. I'm gonna be stuck in the animation. Not check my surroundings. Bam. Saber cat, troll, bear, something is gonna slowly approach while I'm stuck in the animation and end the entire run. Just swing the pickaxe? I can't. I didn't craft it. I can't wield it as a weapon. I'm allowed to have it in my inventory, otherwise I wouldn't be able to mine. Yeah. There's definitely something really bad in here. Desiree, you finally made it? Well, first off, it's never too late, so thank you for stopping by. And secondly, I don't really have a second thing, but I'd said first off, so I had to follow it up with a second thing. Troll? How many? One? That was bad. I almost got hit by both. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on fighting a troll. I am A-OK -okay on battling a troll. What is this mysticism? I'll pass on a troll. 
Yeah, whenever there's a pile of mutilated bodies right outside of a cave, typically a bad sign. It's not a pure science, but usually there's going to be some tough enemies in there. And trolls really don't screw around. You got to be able to hit them really hard while dealing fire damage to sort of cancel out their health regen. And I was this close to taking two consecutive hits from a troll. Might have actually killed me. It would have been good heavy armor XP. What if it was a good sign? I don't think it'll ever be a good sign. Radle Crush. Let's steal from them. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Oh, jumping out of my chair. Oh, fell out of my skin. All it takes is for him to start that. Boom, that swing down animation. A dumb risk, but we're up to 1337. Hey, look, anybody remember the internet back then? Leet? Hmm? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Free bed. Y'all think I can make that jump? Almost an entire school day? Well, for me at least, it's technically, well, no, I certainly worked for a couple of hours before starting stream. So I've definitely worked a, a full work day already. But you guys make it easier. Seriously, I don't think I could ever go back to recording without chat. You guys make long recordings so much easier. I'm really impressed by channels that are able to do the majority of their recordings for gameplay and whatnot without chat. I just, I couldn't do it. I also don't think that I'm naturally funny enough to only record for like 90 minutes and then make a video out of it. What did I just grab? Was that a weapon? No. Thank you, kind sir. Lord of Snipes. Thank you. How are you? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Huh? So, I think south. South of here is where we're going to end up hitting the Corundum mine. Hysteria, how are you? Uh, I, uh, in terms of a set schedule, probably not. Um, you know, it's usually whatever works best for me or whatever I'm most comfortable with. My goal is always to just have videos out every two weeks. I want to try and stick to that as best as possible. And then, you know, as many streams as I can get in between then, that would be grand. Hold on. I'm putting my guard up. Shrink. That's me putting my guard up. Like, like a shield, you know? Anything walks through that shield. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Looks like we're about here, though. Should be it. Looks like right about where I had it marked. Darkwater Crossing. I think it's just a village. 
Oh my gosh, there's an orphan here. I remember this place. Ah, that's right. We killed quite a few people here. Yeah, they didn't like us very much. But it's okay. If you're watching this on my main channel, I cut most of that out of the video. Corundiming it. And they have a smelter. They've got corundum ore. I've been looking for you, John. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Are you serious? These motherfuckers are so insecure that when I tell them no, they gotta send me mail. They can't just trust that I'll eventually stop by there. I definitely. I've never seen you around here before. Are you a minor too? No, I'm an adult. Oh, I cannot believe we made it to this point. <laughs> what a silly question. I'm a grown ass woman. Stupid kid. I'm the dragonborn for crying out loud. Look at my headphones. Look at this cord. It pisses me off. It never stays straight. It never. It's always got a. Hey, let's play a prank on her. Come on. Come on. It's rolling. No. <laughs> Today we're playing a prank on this nine-year-old. We're gonna roll uh, an unmanned cart of heavy ore directly towards her when she's not looking. Heavy armor skill point. As the kids say, W. Common Chimavar Medium W. That, oh my God, there's really nothing here. Don't tell me there's only like three ore veins in this whole place. Shit, I pressed it too many times. Come on. Oh man. Thank you, kind sir. Desiree, thank you so much for the prime. All right, that one doesn't really want to work for me. No. No, don't tell me we're shit out of luck. There's got to be more here. What are you hitting? You're not even hitting Corundum. You're just hitting imaginary ore, pretending you're doing something. No, there's there's got to be a path or something I'm missing here. Toenail, how are you? Congratulations on making a Twitch account. Welcome. Worth every do I ever do... Uh, well, first off, Eddie, thank you for the 200 bits. Do I ever do dumb speedruns for the whole game's story? Not particularly. I've talked about it quite a few times, but I usually avoid doing full storyline runs just because I've played through the story a bunch of times. Um, and to me, I don't think like, obviously, as you play through the story, there are ways that you can interact with the sandbox to make each one different and fun. But that gets old. Like, it's the same objectives, it's the same missions, it's the same that kind of stuff. Are you going to do another Solstein permadeath? One million percent. Yes, we are going to beat Solstein legendary permadeath. OK, this one's glitched out, too. I'm getting weird energy right now from the corundum mine. It's a corundum conundrum. I'm so stealing that joke. I'm ripping that one right from you. Holy shit, what? I had to sit through that whole thing and it... It was both. Both corundum veins were linked in the ether. But that can't be it. What do we have? 12? Huh? 12? That's brutal. How many steel ingots do we have? 
10. That's enough to make a Nordic carved armor set. We only need 21 for the full set. 21 steel. We need a little bit more ebony. But I'm going to need more iron and gold. But we're close. I mean, we're getting there. I've, I haven't stolen like anything this whole run so please forgive me but I'm finally gonna actually break the law I mean I all right I did I broke the law one time completely on accident and I didn't even break the law I got charged one of one gold fine for overpaying for my hotel that doesn't even count There's got to be more of this laying around. There's corundum ingots right near me that I don't really need, but I can use them for XP. So let's steal these two. XP is king right now. Our current objective is to get to 50 smithing. We might have to stop by Riften. I wouldn't mind stopping by Riften, though. Good place to make some uh, cash. We could really raise up some of the funds for our house if we go there. Is Doug sending his stream over? Nah, no way. Really? Ah, oh, that's awesome. Doug, how are you? Welcome! What a perfect little flourish tune to play. How was everybody? Uh, welcome, you have reached the longest stream ever on the channel. Um... I guess I can give you all a little bit of a background of what's going on. Meet Bear Grylls. She's an orc, and we're currently doing an ultimate iron run, uh, bleh, an ultimate Iron Man challenge. If any of you are familiar with old school RuneScape and how Iron Man works in old school RuneScape, the main sort of limiting thing in RuneScape is you can't trade with other players and you can't use a personal bank. So the way we're doing it in Skyrim is it's permadeath, we're on expert difficulty, not legendary or master, because expert is a little bit more fun while still being challenging. We can't trade with any traders, so we can't sell anything, we can't buy anything, we can't loot armor or weapons from any enemies at all. Any weapons or armor upgrades that we make for ourselves have to be handcrafted. So we have to go out and mine ore. We gotta loot ore if it's available. It's not very common while looting, and our main goal is to try and build a house, which if you're not familiar, in order to build a house, you have to pay for the land, which is 5,000 gold. And if we can't sell things, that's another kind of obstacle that's thrown in our way. This is the third attempt. The first two attempts failed because we are playing on permadeath and we're actually making pretty good progress. And the goal right now is to get to 50 smithing. Once again, Doug, thank you for sending your stream over. We appreciate that. Mark, thank you for the 400 bits. How are you, Mark? Can you use magic? Yes, we can use magic. We can we we can use magic. We've actually used it quite a bit. Um if you exclamation point Iron Man, I have a really professionally made PowerPoint presentation on Google Slides that can give you a little bit more background if you are curious. We're gonna take all this. So we're trying to get to 50 smithing right now because we wanna make the Nordic carved armor set. And we're at about 35. So we've walked our ass all the way across the map. You know, from here, right over here. Kind of running into a strange issue now, though. Where I don't know exactly where we should go. We probably should head towards Riften? Riften's probably 
good spot for us to check out. But once again, thank you everybody for stopping in. Oh yeah, it, there is a cooldown on the Iron Man thing. Uh, it's it's about like 30 seconds, I think, if somebody types it in. Oh, perfect. Here we go. It gives us opportunities to mine and hang out. <laughs> That's why I've been enjoying it. Yeah, there's no fast travel. Uh, the final goal is to build a house in Falkreath. I assume you got the transmute spell so you can make... Yes, we do have transmute. Oh, shit. I'm over encumbered. Okay. Can I not drop the golden... I can't drop the golden claw. I can't drop Meridia's beacon. We're going to have to start getting rid of potions. But we have a fuckload of them. <laughs> we have a lot of them. Um, sure. I'll drink the most expensive one because I'm high class. Like to stay very classy out here. I only drink the finest of drink when possible. Yeah, I think we'll get over. Okay, so there's there's an ebony mine over here. And since we're a, we're an orc, we can go there as fast as possible. Or we can go there immediately without doing the quest. So let's hit Riften. I think that's the plan. Hit Riften, see what we're able to craft, cut down on our weight if we can, slim down a bit. Hopefully we're close to 50 smithing by then, and then pop back out into this portion of the map to go mining again. Or, you know... Oh, hi, Mr. Bear. Uh, two? There's two of them. Okay. Veggie soup, because it's OP. Can I take on two bears at once? I don't think I'm... Ah, oh, fuck it. Might as well get... Okay. Ooh. Might as well get risky, right? Nothing earned, nothing gained. No pressure, no diamonds. Oh! Their power attacks are pretty slow, so we can avoid those if we need to. Oh, shit. Okay, they do hit hard. I'd like to save my potions if I can. Let's just keep our distance. They're not like trolls, so their health won't refresh. Okay, all right, Mr. Berenstein. Crazy, thank you very much. Apologies if I miss uh, a lot of stuff, chat. I'm, I, I have a hard enough time sometimes when I uh, get locked into a moment with uh, my normal chat. Since Doug sent his chat over, I assume it'll be a little bit more chaotic. Fuck me, that thing swings quick. Okay, I underestimated the bear. There we go, one down. Is this one behind? No, he's not behind me. Oh, he's fighting something else. No, why'd you have to kill the goat, dude? Really? Fight me. He's helpless. You killed the goat? Really? Don't give me the look. Don't give me the look like it's an accident, you motherfucker. <laughs> he's oh, and he's doing the spin just to make fun. Okay, I can spin too. Okay, bone break fever. That's bad. What does it do to us? 25 points from stamina. That's not the worst possible thing. We can keep him stumbling with vegetable soup. <laughs> Actually went better than I thought it would. I feel like for survival, playing orc is much easier because that ability we just used berserk, you can use it once a day. It doubles your damage output and cuts in half the damage that you take. I would like to take the bear pelts. I only have five pounds of weight that's free. Boneless, thank you for the hundred bits. Chaos and divorce. Retribution for the goat. <laughs> You guys are chaotic. Holy sh- No, Mr. Goat! No, Mr. Goat, don't do it! I, I'll defend you! 
But hold on, I don't have my uh, I don't have my bonus anymore, Mr. Goat, so I might just run with you. Run, <laughs> Mr. Goat, we gotta go. Shit, 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 shit. This is why we invested in all these potions. Honestly, should I? Okay, I have a really fucked up idea, chat. Don't sue me. No! I got rid of it! I had the paralysis poison from earlier. I was gonna- I was gonna paralyze the goat and leave him as bait. <laughs> Fuck! That would have been too good. Great. We should be free. I'm, I'm, I'm playing it relatively safe on this run because... Oh, Riften is that far? I was thinking I was here. Okay, so Riften is a ways away. Honestly, Windhelm is closer. We could go to Windhelm. I don't really want to go to Windhelm. Windhelm sucks. We're going to Riften. Riften's way cooler. Ah, oh, fuck this thing, man. Get off me. How many stamina potions do we have? One, two, three, eight. We have eight stamina potions left. We have five stamina potions. Then they're only worth 20. Okay, this is a problem. We got to check through. Uh, we got to get distance first. Distance from the bear over everything. This road should loop around and start heading south. There's no way you're about to hit me. Is he keeping pace? Okay. Uh, an enemy's greatest weakness in this game is usually bad pathing. So let's throw him up on some rocks and he should be... Yeah, he'll give up the chase soon. You don't need an anti-bear circle. You just need anti-bear rocks. Ah, finally, bait. Go get him. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. We appreciate your sacri- Fuck you. God damn it, the bear's there. Okay, uh, hill. <laughs> All right. We'll take the coward's way out. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Does anybody in here watch Succession? Because the percentage of my vocabulary taken up by the phrase fuck off has increased 7,000% roughly since watching that show. And if you watch that show, I guarantee it has for you as well. And if you haven't watched Succession, I highly recommend it because it is worth the hype. I didn't think it would be. It is. One million percent. Hold on. Not allowed to loot that ring because it's cheating. I didn't make it. Enjoy the huge rats. Oh, wait. Uh, to anybody who came over from Doug's chat, everybody in my chat the other day, or not everybody, but quite a few people in my chat the other day kept talking about the bear door or the bear dungeon. Is that what it's called? Which weird timing that as soon as you guys all join, I get face fucked by nothing but bears. Bear door. Yeah. I, so I assume Doug was really close to accomplishing his goal when he was playing with the door randomizer, opened up a door, and immediately got pounced on by a bear, which is hilarious. Unfortunately, I wasn't there. I was there for quite a, a lot of those streams because just seeing someone else play through the door randomizer mod is super cool. Honey Strand Cave. Duly noted. If anybody has a clip, I don't know if I don't know if everyone in chat can link clips, but someone give it a shot. If you have access to the clip, link it in here. Someone will someone will catch it and uh, throw it on our Discord or something like that. 
Dude, we're not doing this again. Did you teleport ahead of me? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, wait, maybe he's nice. Shh, don't sit. Don't, no, we... Listen, man, <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna calmly walk past... No, I took two steps. <laughs> he smelled my fear. Oh yeah, he's coming. Yeah, he's pissed. Oh yeah, he's really pissed. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, but there's ore right there and I want it. Come on, haven't you ever played RuneScape? Have some respect to a fellow scaper. <laughs> he's so excited. He honestly, he's kind of like a really big dog, you know? He just wants to play. The unfortunate thing is that he plays too hard. Stumble. Oh, he attacks quickly. What do we have on health? Okay, one attack is about one potion. As long as it's a slow attack or a light attack. He won't stumble if he's yelling, but he'll stumble if attacking. Power attack, easy to dodge. Stumble. But then he'll immediately follow it up with a short attack. But his running attack is the one we really can't get hit with. I should favorite this. There we go. Come on now, come on. Bear on bear violence, let's go. Miss me. Got him. Whew. Okay. Jesus Christ, I'm sweating. Did not think I would get through it, but we did. We're alive. The bear portal's actually opened. The bear, uh, we, we used the orc perk earlier against the other bear when we had two bears. So unfortunately, we couldn't use it again. Which I... Uh, the perk is pretty overpowered, but on survival mode, it does balance it out a little bit because if you are going to fast forward time on survival, you have to pay for it via food or rent. Another dumb little rule for this challenge, we pay 100 gold if we sleep at an inn just to sort of keep us on that grind of trying to save up gold as best we can. The ore, the ore, the ore. You're right, you're right. Don't worry, I'm going, I'm hustling. I'm sorry, chat, the raid, the people, all this. I'm on my second cold brew of the day. I don't even remember where we killed the bear. Let me ask you guys, since uh, I, I assume quite a few of you who have stuck around have followed Doug for a while. What are the origins of divorce? Like, when did when when did Doug become everyone's divorce lawyer? Mark, thank you very much. Oh, um, I think that uh, that alert must have been a while ago. But thank you for the four hundred bits, Mark. Right here, we got it. GTA Michael gets divorced. Someone said it, so just one person said it. And it spiraled out of, okay. I figured it would have been one message or one TTS. I didn't realize it was GTA 5, but that does make a lot of sense given Michael's strained relationship with his family and wife. Is there another or? No. There probably will be. All right, we get to Riften. Maybe we take care of a quest or two while in town and begin our collection of cash because we're going to need quite a bit. 5,000 to buy the plot of land in Falkreath. We will get some cash from doing the Falkreath quest to obtain the house. Wait a minute, there's a mine up here. Or is it just a village? 
trick question. It's my village. Mine. It's mine. Forgive me. Actually, making steel ingots is nice. We save weight. We cut down. Oh, there's no fucking way it just went underground. Don't tell me I got... I'm innocent. Okay, nothing suspicious at all. Look away, officer. All right, clean getaway. Now we smelt it. And that, my friends, is how you launder ore in Skyrim. Shit, it is a land... Not a landmine. It's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Run. Ooh. Got to keep my eyes open. These damn dragons could swoop. Oh, what the fuck, dude? A fight. You're gonna help me out, right? Okay, sweet. We have a friend. I don't think he really signed up for this adventure. What is? What is this place? Why is it orange? Take care of those flames. You should help me. Take care of the problem. Ah, ah fuck. Okay. It's not too problematic. But it's hazy and orange. The village blacksmith gives you a reward if you clear the spiders. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, hell yeah. Also, somebody mentioned this earlier, and I just forgot to get to it. There's a lot of different rules and whatnot. We've made, a f we made up a few of them as we've gone along. But for enchanting, because we can't loot weapons and armor from enemies, we technically can't loot enchanted items. But if we complete a quest and the quest reward is an enchanted weapon slash piece of armor, we're allowed to disenchant that armor or weapon, but we cannot use it. So the only way to obtain any enchantments is via quest completion and disenchantment of the exact item you get. So the Axe of Whiterun and I think Fortify Two-Handed are the only two enchantments we have because of the main story quest to get the Dragon Shout, the first Dragon Shout. Stay focused. Melisad, thank you very much for the Prime. I apologies, apologies if I missed any Alerts. I think they might have gotten glitched or slowed down a lot. Can you do lunar diplomacy for more spells? I'm not familiar off the top of my head with the quest. Do I have a potion of strength? I don't. I've held on to these resist magic potions for far too long. They gotta go. I'll drink something expensive. Can you get married in Iron Man? Absolutely. Nothing to stop. Whoa. <clears throat> Can you, cr you can't craft an amulet of Mara and the amulet of Mara is crucial because in Skyrim, in the world of Skyrim, no one will have sex with you unless you wear the amulet of Mara. So it's kind of up in the air. It's a weird culture, I know. But that's just how it is. I don't make the rules. I guess we don't really need that much hide. We'll ditch the hide. I'll allow it. Amulet of Mara only for the purpose of scoring and getting laid. You can wear it, even though it's not crafted. Can you go in your, no, <laughs> you guys are not allowed in the basement. Sorry, I have enough, uh, I have enough visitors with all the centipedes I have. Can I save you from what Doug's you basement? I mean, if he's got you there, he's probably got you there for a good reason. It's not my job. I'm not the arbiter of who gets to be in the basement and who doesn't. I mean, I get to be in charge of who's in my basement. And I say no one. I have enough friends. They're crawling in my walls. One of these days, I'm going to show you all of the traps 
from my basement and how many centipedes there are, you will all be shocked. Do I have to wait until morning? Yeah, right there. Oh, are you ready to fight the spiders? Is that what you're doing? You're shadow boxing to get yourself hyped up for the job that I did single-handedly? Well, look what we have here. What? Looking for Why would I fight you? Yes. All right, which side of your face would you like rearranged? You don't frighten me. All you're doing is being insufferable. Leave. I like that one better. I'll teach you to talk to me that way. Okay. Come on. Okay, I was gonna say, this is an anniversary quest. I could tell from the dialogue. Why am I... Dude, I just single-handedly killed like five bears in an entire cave of spiders. Why do you want the hands? Okay, he does good damage. Can I take potions in the fight? Is that cheating? <laughs> nope. It's clean. I always hated the brawls in this game because Jesus, they take forever. Like, it's just non-stop. If anything, it's a testament to the strength of both fighters. Here, just let me, let me chug something real quick. Straight right hooks. Right hooks only. His jaw is glass. You! 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 Incredible gameplay. You're tougher than you look. You got me fair and square. Thank you. Here, this is for you. This guy just paid me to kick his ass? Whoa! All right. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. That's how all these quests are. They're all on a note. We'll be in touch. Oh, edgy. Ooh. The fuck? What was his problem? Okay, so who's the person I'm supposed to talk to in town then? That's where he went. He went to the basement. You get sick armor from it? I've never done it before. Is it like a brawler's armor? Hey, the base melee animations may suck, Kimmy, but the execution animations when you have hand-to-hand -hand are pretty elite. <laughs> Those are where it's at. The basic punches, nah. You wait until they're one shot and then you go for the kill. Hunting. Oh. The fine art of mouth hunting. Wait, no, I got rid of all those hide for a reason. <clears throat> okay, I want to talk to the person in this town. I'd like to complete the quest. This looks like a leadership type house. Kind of looks like something you'd make in Valheim. That's like every house in Skyrim. Boneless pizza, thank you for the hundred bits. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. How? Oh my god, we got another disease? You don't have to comment on it. Would you happen to be headed towards Darkwater Crossing? Haven't we been there? My parents live there. I usually make the journey. I've written some letters and placed them in a satchel. Oh yeah, I mean, we'll probably head back there on our way back to Whiterun. Take my satchel and give it to my father, Werner. He'll likely have something for you. Yeah, we can do that quest. Is there olive oil in Skyrim? Um... Yes, there is. You you know when you're in the Draugr dungeon? You remember that? When you're in the Draugr dungeon, you can light the oil on the ground on fire. It's actually olive oil. Do I drink olive oil like Doug? No. 
Well, I mean, I, I have like once on stream just as a joke, but not actually. It's not like a it's not like a thing I do. I have any ring I will not craft. That's kind of cheating. Okay, is it you? I hope you haven't right. Red, you get you. No idea what's causing it though. Sure. <laughs> It's full of spiders, that's what... I'm worried that they'll come out of the mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. Yeah, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. Gave me some sort of line about keeping an eye <laughs> that's on hopeless. the soldiers. What's the point in protecting this place? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Useless. It's actually disgusting. It's like, it's warm and thick and... You mean you killed every last one of them? I can't believe it. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore Stone back on the map. Here, it's already on the map. Please accept this gift as a token of At our least 250. Rights. 750. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with all this cash. Wow. Okay, let's see. We just need to burn off some of our stuff to get some XP. As long as we're not using steel. Actually, we need to make our iron. Did we make all of our iron ingots? We should be fairly close. Nine. Wandering it's not very good. Compared to tunnel crawling. You know, we can probably rob the blacksmith. I love Balamond, but we'll probably have to rob him when we get into Riften, because he's got a lot of ore in his basement. Look, there you go, Chet. You got your basement reference. How are we overcanumbered? Easy. Now we're off to Riften. Diego's, how are you? Thank you for making. Good to see you. I'm proud of you, Wanderer. I gotta sleep as well. I wanna get to Helga's bunkhouse. Yeah, the main road is east of here. We gotta get over there. Whoa, strange. Okay, so the game plan right now, we get to Riften, complete a couple of the quests. The Riften one, or the, uh, the Thieves Guild ones are always a good time. Because those can be done in a matter of stupid ways. Head up north. There's an orc stronghold right around here in this area, so we'll have to backtrack the way we came a bit. Go to the orc stronghold, ebony mine, get the ebony that we need, use the ebony. Hopefully find some quicksilver on the way up there. Quicksilver, ebony, all the steel ingots we've made. Combine those, we can make the Nordic carved armor set. And at that point, I would think our character is strong enough to handle most challenges thrown their way confidently without having to make a shit ton of potions. Yes, we're gonna fight the bear. <laughs> I'll get revenge for the bear door. No, I will not, I'm leaving. Fuck, why did I take him on? I didn't sleep. Okay, this is a problem. I forgot that I waited throughout the night, so there's a lot of negative effects from that. I have almost no stamina. 
I think I'm completely out of... Okay, we have some stamina potions, so we'll be able to turn and sprint away. We gotta check for healing potions real quick. Okay, thank fuck. We have plenty of healing potions. But I am gonna turn and burn. That's a dumb idea. Oh my god, there's two of them. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Don't do it to me. No, stop, stop, stop it. Stop, it's not happening. No, why? Um, okay, I can get out of this. So we have unrelenting force. We can use that. The trees are going to confuse their pathing a little bit if we're able to get into the trees. That was a sprint attack. I think it was two sprint attacks they both hit me with. I'm completely fucked. I'm out of stamina. Why did I sprint into an open field? It's the opposite of everything that I talked about doing earlier. I put myself at risk turning around to shout at them. I think it's kind of necessary. Has enough time passed for me to use the orc ability? I don't think so, because it's not in my quick menu. I need the trees. Come on, trees. Rocks. Oh. There we go. Okay, I need a second. I need a second. I need a second. I need a second. Jesus Christ. I was not ready for this. Whew. I like how they immediately just change targets and it's blood feud with this wolf down here. <laughs> poor buddy. Look at him. Oh, this poor family of wolves. All of them. One happy soon to be murdered family let's see if we can get in on the action no oh what are you guys teaming up to wait this out that's bullshit i'm just waiting uh, i can't wait to kill this fucker get down here i'm gonna rip you apart see i stand by my opinion that the bear is just simply playing too hard he doesn't want to kill me it's like the it's like the big bernese mountain dog that decided to play with the bunny in the backyard but it jumped a little too hard or got a bit excited or rang its neck just a little bit too tough and accidentally ruptured its vertebrae that's what i think the bears are in skyrim they're just playing God damn it, he's still waiting it out. They're actually staking it out like it's a buddy cop movie. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. It's like a... Is that a troll? Yeah, it's a troll. Don't be behind me, don't be behind me. Okay, the troll's gonna be behind me, but we can outrun a troll. Oh my god, this is the best Skyrim I've ever played in my life. I cannot believe we got out of that. Absolutely should have gotten up, should have gotten killed. I deserved it too. The sim for the simple fact that I was cocky enough and stupid enough to try and take on not one, but two bears after a night of no Thank sleep. You, kind sir. Oh yeah, the alerts are crashing super slow, far behind. But Melissa, thank you again for subscribing hold there before i let you into rifton you need to pay the visitors tax dude i've been through a lot I've, I've been through a lot on my way here can you overlook it for the privilege of entering the city just this one time okay you know what i'm not even going to convince you you want in i'm just taking the cool entrance Honeyside. I'm just happy to be alive. I'm so happy the run's not dead. Oh, you guys don't know. I would have been so sad if the run died. We've come so far, and we've literally improved our efficiency every single run to where 
I don't think the first five hours of this run could have really been improved. And if I lost it, Sorry, I'm afraid actually, it would have been heartbreaking. Because then I would have had to have upload another failed challenge. <laughs> wait, 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 am I in the wrong house? No, this is the right entrance. All I'm saying is indulging the brewmaster around here one day. What did you want? The exit. I would like to leave. I assume we our goals may align. It's not down here, is it? Or is that the way I came in? Really? I could have sworn this place has another exit. I'm quite busy. Need Do I have any ideas for future challenges? Uh, one of them we will use my standing desk slash treadmill underneath it and a weighted vest. And we will match the weight of the vest while walking the entire time to our encumbrance in game. Okay, we made it to Riften. Which I think... It's a pretty good place to leave it off for the day. Uh, thank you, Doug, for sending your stream over. It was very kind of you. They're always a good time whenever they're here. They're always respectful and really funny. They're very divorced as well. Let's do the same and send it over to someone else. Also, if you're not familiar and maybe you're new here, this is the Tiber Septum Hotel in um, Oblivion. <laughs> oh, and that's James Corden. This is my co-host. He was fired once and then he came back. He should have been fired again. What uh, what game should we look for to raid into? Napeta, you made it through the whole stream. Thank you so much. Sailwind? Is that a game? It is a game. There's no one streaming Sailwind right now. Valheim? It's actually a good idea. Quite a few people streaming Valheim. This guy's chilling on a boat. Uh, Newt? Nut? Is that how you pronounce it? Either way. We'll raid out. I'll send you guys over to Newt. Ultra Iron Man by adding hard mods? Good or bad idea? Um, it depends how much time you're willing to put in, but it could be a lot of fun. Thank you everybody for hanging out. That was a that was the longest stream of my career. I've never gone that long, almost seven hours. I appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. And we're finally making good progress. Hopefully either tomorrow or Wednesday we beat this challenge. Thank you all. Have a good night.